Okay, guys, we are live. So for those listening at home, welcome to the Dungeon Musings YouTube channel. My name is Kevin Madison, and I will be your friendly marshal uh, today. Uh, because today we are returning to the Weird West with another uh, session of uh, Savage Worlds Adventure Edition. Uh, playing in their classic Deadlands of the Weird West setting. And with me today, the posse is made up of two hombres. One uh, old hombre who uh, is a, a Weird West veteran and one returning uh, to... Uh, this is your first time playing uh, Adventure Edition, right, Carl? No, not but first time playing Deadlands. Oh, Adventure nice. Edition. Excellent. Yeah, I played... yeah, I, yeah, go ahead. Excellent. Perfect. So let me introduce everybody uh, to you guys. Why don't you tell us who you are, who you're playing. Uh, first up is Mo. Hi, I'm Morris. I'm playing um, my character, Angus Quiggle the Third, who is an agent of... Uh, it's just the agency, isn't it? Uh, it is, yeah, the agency. They've In this edition, they've changed it from being expressly the Pinkerton agency to uh, uh, effectively the... Um, the men in black, uh, but in the old west. Uh, and uh, next up is Carl. And today I'm playing Bill the Tater McCullough. He is a territorial ranger. He's a big man. <laughs> he is a big According man. to his card. <laughs> so um, let's bring ourselves up to speed here. Um, or to bring Carl to speed. Mo, why don't you tell us uh, what happened last time? Okay, last time on uh, Deadlands... Uh, Myself and Santiago were riding across the desert being chased by rattlers, which are sort of like giant versions of the things from yeah. Tremors. Uh, I forgot the name <laughs> wow. of the film there. Um, after a very near escape and effectively myself losing my horse, um, we eventually arrived in this uh, town who is a... Uh, uh, an ex... Uh, well, it's a mining town up in the hills... And it's actually on one of the entrances to Dead Death Valley. Yes, it's in uh, quite so sure the Black Mountains in. through uh, Titus Canyon uh, between Death Valley and uh, Nevada Territory. Um, Bill, you would have come through Death Valley. Actually, you would have gone through Furnace Creek and then up into the mountains to head bound into the Nevada Territory for whatever reason you know you decide to come up with. Uh, the name of the town, Mo. Do you remember? Uh, unfortunately, not. Uh, the name of the town was last time. <laughs> traditionally Hell's Gate, and it has been right since renamed. Though, do you remember what the rename was? Heaven. Yes. Heaven's Gate. There is a boarded over, and Bill, you would have uh, uh, known this as well. Uh, Bill, let's get some dice rolling here. Why don't you give us a common knowledge okay. roll? All right. Let's see how much you know about this place. Whether you've been through here before. Yeah, that, I'm based on what it looks like. His hindrances or his you know, characteristics, it seems like he's probably looking for someone. Mm. I, mean, I guess, it, right? So it yeah, says, yeah. Uh, you always get your man. So I'm, you know, I'm here chasing, I've been chasing someone. Yeah, love it. Yeah. Um, that's up to you to decide. Maybe it's germane to this current adventure or not. Well, it, it is actually uh, germane to the current adventure. There's someone else who you knew, uh, you'd got a uh, good um, warning that they were hiding out in some mountain town. And we'll fill you in as to what happened. Let's just give us a check your okay. common knowledge roll. Knowledge. Holy Ooh, shit. Holy. Fucking yeah. good opening there. All right. So with, <laughs> a, <laughs> with a 13, uh, that's a raise out of that. So as a reminder to mm -hmm. Carl, the um, there are certain roles like um, soak rolls or damage rolls where like a raise, more than one raise matters. But in most cases, mm -hmm. if you get one raise, that's all that really matters. Uh, a high okay. roll is is gra you know gratifying in a rolling high kind of way, but there's no other game uh, consequence to it. Um, so what, um, Bill? You definitely have been through here before. So I think um, because uh, you know these sort of out of the way mining towns in the territories often become havens for folks trying to disappear from. You know they'll show up and they'll become prospectors. They'll uh, mm -hmm. you know rename themselves and open up a business with their ill gotten gains and. Um, that's, you know, so you have been, when it was Hell's Gate, and it was a thriving mountain town, or mountain um, uh, community. What you found when you got back is uh, through, um, you know, after suffering through the uh, trip through, um, uh, and you don't have a horse, I don't think. So I think your horse died on the ride through. Actually, yeah. Yeah. 
uh, to either just the heat or whatnot, but you're stubborn enough to, uh, to have made the trek on foot. Um, when you arrived in um, what you knew was Hellsgate, you found that the town, for one, has dramatically changed uh, because it is now naming itself Heavensgate. It seems as if there's a whole new like quality of people who've moved in. The people you know, when you went through Hellsgate, it's the rough and tumble, you know, tough as nails type. Uh, the the you know ne'er do wells who uh, want to disappear, or the ones who are desperate enough to you know travel to the most un, you know godforsaken regions and try and scratch some uh, you know riches out of the earth. Um, yeah, was it a boom town when I was here last? It was a boom town. Yeah, okay. when you were here last. Now it seems there's a lot of people here, but it's an equal mm -hmm. weird split between folks that you would expect to be in this kind of like you know uh, out of the way boom town, um, and like, you know, good, clean Christian folk. There's uh, families that are here now with like, uh, the way I described it was like husbands with pressed shirts and women in, in you know, nice dresses and stuff like that who were hanging out and, and uh, socializing with these, you know, grizzled and, and in some cases, you know, injured or deformed uh, minors. Mm -hmm. And the reason that it seems to have had a, such a shift in the community appears to have been um, the work of a certain uh, reverend, a preacher uh, who goes by the name of, uh, where is it here, Amos uh, Rockhold. And you had only just arrived in town, and um, I think that uh, you probably met up with the reverend who was trying to, who extended an invitation for you to stay at uh, uh, at his, you know, at, with his congregation. The, what do you think the name of the man or woman was that you were tracking? Um, probably some sort of notorious cattle rustler or a, a, who, you know, cattle rustling is bad as it is, but, uh, you know, killing people on top of that. So let's yep. say, let's get a good name. Let's give a, a odd name like, like Rick, right? Okay. Just by Rick. Uh, Rick, uh, and I'll make him sort of um, Cajun, so like Montreux or something. Okay, Rick Montreux. All right, a, nor a notorious uh, cattle rustler and uh, killer. Um, yeah. What you find when you arrive in town is that, uh, for one, no one seems to have you know made any other. No one seems to have any idea of who you're talking about. Um, hmm. You had it on good. The last man you spoke to. Uh, probably one of uh, Rick's associates uh, assured you that after their last split, they split off and he knew, he was certain that uh, he came up here. So you feel fairly certain that uh, this is this is where you need to be to find this uh, this feller. Why don't you give us a, um, a notice check as well too, please? I'm just going to see how much you're able to suss out uh, the... Notice, notice pretty good. Yeah, yes, please. Uh. All right, so it's one success with no raises. Uh, you could spend a Benny to re-roll that if you like. No, I'll, I'll stick with the... What you got? So one thing we noticed, yeah. too, uh, with re-rolls, you're always taking the better. Okay. So if I'm not saying that you have to spend a Benny necessarily, but if um, the, the the way the rules work, you're always going to be getting the, the benefit of whatever the best result is, unless it expressly says, uh, and of course, fumbles, you cannot re-roll. Um, right. So, it, so can, I can't remember, can you re-roll... You can reroll in combat, right? Yes. And can you reroll soak as well? Yes. Okay. Yep. I mean, you're blowing through a lot of bennies there, but uh, you yeah, most yeah, certainly yeah. can. <laughs> yeah, because you got to roll a benny to or spend a benny to soak anyway. Yes. Um, yes. You can also spend a benny just to, to refresh too. You can uh, to get a new card uh, in combat. Um, you can spend All it right. to reroll damage. You can spend it to like make a minor alteration to the scene, um, mm -hmm. and you can spend it to recover from shaken. And okay. that's, I think that's all the ones that apply. You, you can also spend it to yeah, uh, to take a, um, what do you call it, to get extra power points, but neither of you guys are playing, you know, no. gifted folk. So, uh, uh, so the Tater's a tough hombre. He's, he's brave and, you know, he's got guts. So, yeah. Maybe, hopefully, I won't need to be. <laughs> Although Shaken is like when you get hit, injured in combat. He... Yeah, Shaken is, so to recover from being Shaken is a spirit roll. Uh, and a soak yeah. roll is your vigor. Yeah. Yes. 
So, uh, and I think you've got, yeah, your brave also. He's pretty tough, though. He's a tough, yeah, he's like a nickel steak, so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he might, he he, might have lost a few pounds going through, going through, uh, you know, the, the desert there, but. Yeah, but you know he's still a big man. So fortunately, what you now um, one question: Would you think you would have had your badge being displayed? Uh, your badge gives you a plus one to persuasion checks for folks who respect law and order, but it also marks you as a territorial ranger. Right. So I, if I know the town, I probably know the context in which to have it. So I, I would say like, since I know Hell's Gate is a rough and tumble place, I probably would not have it displayed. Okay. But then you know if I need to show it like to get information or you know I, so it's okay. probably better not to okay but now i'm con- but i'm probably confused now because it's very different yeah yeah <laughs> what's the uh what do you think the the like bullshit cover story is that that bill gave if he's if he's taking his uh his badge off oh, oh that oh that i have okay yeah. um that i'm just a. I'm here to, uh, I'm here to prospect. Okay. And you lost your horse and that's why you have no supplies. That makes perfect yeah. sense. Yes. Why don't you give right. us a, now I don't think, do you have any deception? Uh, I have persuasion, but that's a, a lot. The uh, Yeah, I think. Oh, uh, no, I do not, but I do not have deception. Yeah, I think, I think it's a separate, let me double, double check here. I think it's a separate skill uh, from, uh. Uh, from that, because persuasion does do an awful lot of heavy lifting, but I think that's the one thing it uh, it does. So it's like intimidation is persuasion, and so is uh, mm-hmm. uh, let's see here. Here we go, skills. Oh, no, I'm sorry, intimidation is not. That is a separate skill. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, better at intimidating people than persuading. Okay. No, persuasion is deception. I'm going to be confused. Intimidation is separate okay. from persuasion. So, uh, why don't you give us a persuasion check? I've rolled to see what, uh, see how well your bullshit and went over. Uh, no, Oops. no, oh, it's well, four. Yeah, wild eye. Yeah, you got a success. All right. So the, uh, it seems that they're not questioning you on that. Uh, so someone who's looking a little more closely, you know, uh, may notice that there's a bit of your, you know, your duster that's a little less dust covered that seems to be shaped in the circle of a star. But uh, mm-hmm. fortunately, doesn't appear to um, uh, doesn't appear that Ad- the good adjust my bandolier. Yeah, not yeah. <laughs> over. Covered. So what's happened? Where we're going to open up is uh, that you have uh, you've only arrived here just today. Uh, the the Reverend uh, Rockhold and his son, uh, his son's name is Arthur Rockhold. This is what this ombre looks like. Arthur and his, his son. Wow, they look. Very yeah, you're gonna have to age. picture that the the preacher's a little bit older. I couldn't find a, a really good old oh, okay, preacher okay. Uh, image. The old preacher image I could find was like nine million years old, and I right that wasn't quite what guy, I was going for. The guy from Poltergeist, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Angus Scrim, mm-hmm. <laughs> or is he from uh, what do you call it? Um, yeah. Phantasm. Yep. Yeah. So, all right. So what you um, uh, what you've uh, seen. Is that uh, he's invited you to? They're they're doing a, a big uh, group, like kind of group, you know, dinner or meal. Okay. Uh, and um, I, I'm assuming that Bill's not going to be too proud to turn that down. So, no, especially if they got them studs. Yeah. Now the thing is, is that you find in this community is that while they're all being very very friendly, they seem friendly, they seem welcoming or whatnot. There is a distinctive exclusion. They're all being friendly with each other. They're all being very welcoming and laughing and kids are playing and stuff like that. And they are polite to you, but then immediately disengage from you. You definitely get the feeling that you are an outsider. And even among some of the hard-bitten folk that you've uh, seen before, there's maybe like a guy who lost both legs in a cave-in, you know, who you saw both before, who's a beggar. And he's now here playing a little banjo, you know, to give some uh, background music to the, um, uh, to the festivities. Um, and that's around that, you know, you're sitting down and, and the first couple of, um, um, like not appetizers, but the, like bread is being set out and some things just to snack on when you see this, uh, feller walk around uh, from the far end of town and, um, Mo, why don't you tell, uh, Carl what he sees as Angus walks over to the, uh, to the meal. Okay. He sees a 
slightly above average height uh, guy who's wearing um, what appears to be um, he, uh, Bill would probably call it a city slickers type suit. So he's uh, wearing a black suit, black hat. Um, he's carrying um, a coat on his hip. We've left the more exotic stuff back at the stables. I think we discussed. <laughs> yeah, we just sandwiched the last um, session. Angus is Boba Fett. He has a zillion yeah. guns. Yeah. Um, yeah. So he's uh, he looks somewhat out of place. He's probably dressed as dressed better than the average person in town. Um, I think you he just had your suit quite dusty. Your suit was just pressed yeah. as well too by the uh, the yeah. hotel owner. Oh yeah, too, they did. So. so he's looking quite quite dapper. Um, yeah. So he's walking up from the other end of the high street, um, uh, and he's just approaching the. Uh, open air they've set up tables in front of the church haven't they so it's an open air sort of um yep uh thing so he's uh, probably just walking up getting ready to see if he can uh be introduced to mr rockhold so sorry, An Reverend angus rockhold. and bill why don't you both give us a notice check here da, da, da. and i'll let you use your investigator bonus there too uh angus so plus two to this notice roll uh, Carl, is it prompting for uh, modifiers for you? Yeah, but I don't think I have. I'm oh, looking great. to see if I have anything. Better. I just want to make sure I set up the the cart the thing correctly. It is, yeah. Awesome. So, yeah, so uh, like, yeah, I would get it like on a fear check or something or okay. shooting. But so here's the things that both of you guys pick up. For one, um, Bill, uh, you look over and you can you recognize the cut of this guy's jib immediately. Mm -hmm. He so I know, screams. Like, I know he's an agency man. He definitely screams lawman, and I think that you've been in the Weird West long enough that to know um, that that black, you know, they ch they um, go in, they, the agency does try to pride itself on trying to be inconspicuous, but every one of them fools just dresses themselves exactly the same way of trying to be inconspicuous. So if you know what you're looking for, you see this, this uh, Felder walk up, you know, and uh, all he's missing is his badge. Now, Angus... Mm. However, you look over and you can feel like, I think the two of you have a locked eyes moment. And once again, Bill, you try and like pull that bandolier over, it slides back and Angus, you can make out the clear impression of dust that's on there. But the, there's a slight discoloration in the, in the light that then disappears as soon as he shifts again, that is where his badge would have been. So you likewise mm -hmm. recognize him as one of his own. So we can picture like. You know, in the film version, you guys both, we have cuts of both you guys, and then you both sort of tip your hats towards each other in recognition. Yeah. Yeah. I'd probably say agency. <laughs> my hat. So, um, the, again, it's, it's just, unless you engage with the crowd, they're sort of, like, they're all enjoying themselves, and it's a lovely thing, but you guys are outsiders here. You can walk through this without anyone and do whatever you want without anyone interfering or, or talking to you. If you speak to them, they're friendly. But mm -hmm. they otherwise just sort of go about their things and act as if you're not here. So okay. the, if you two walk up and maybe sit across from each other at, like, a picnic table type thing or a setup table, you can picture everyone else is sort of going around. And I think that both of you would know enough that the other would only be here if you're looking for someone or you're looking for something. Right. So, so what are you doing here, agency man? I'm looking for a friend who uh, apparently came through this town and um, they don't seem to actually acknowledge that he was actually here, but uh, we actually yeah, I got that. that he was. I got that, that same problem. I've been tracking this Rustler and Ne'er Do Well, Rick uh, Montro. Oh, that last man, time when yeah. we looked at. Yeah. No, I was going to say last time we looked here. at the hotel they... register. Mm -hmm. Do I remember a Rick Montrose or a similar name? Um, it's, I mean, I, I, I think you don't need to make a roll for this, but if he is trying to hide, it's unlikely he'd be signing in under his name. Yeah. Mm. Although, let's do I this. Just, I, descri I described the man and I said, but. These folks, as friendly as they are, they they ain't seen them. Let's do this, uh, Bill. Would you give us a intimidation check? This will be a flashback scene. Uh, you know, looking for Bill Montrose, though he may be traveling under a different name. When we flash back to you, like you know, drowning a guy in a in a horse trough, 
Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, you got... Uh, there's another As name. I, said, I, don't, I don't trust anyone from Montrose outfit. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that I got this guy to talk. Yeah, yeah. So we see him like, what's his name? What's his name? Uh, and he's like, it's Cletus. Cletus uh, Callahan. So then uh, you, we cut back to this, you know, the scene at the the uh, picnic and you lean forward and he says, though he may be traveling under Cletus Callahan. And uh, Angus, you don't recognize that name, but you do remember that there was a whole page torn out. Mm. Yes, there was. Um, and I'll mention that someone seems to have moved a page from the, you know, the hotel register. I see. But the young lad who, who lives there seems to know more things than letting on. Um, uh, can I assume we're going to say we've taken a table a bit towards the edge? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, likely. Yeah. 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 There's something funny about this whole change in the town. Oh, yeah. Uh, some Last people, time I was um, here, it was a rip roaring really want to crazy. Oh, uh, um, sorry, go ahead, uh, Carl. So last time I was here is, is well, it's called, what, Hell, Hell's, right? Hell's, right? Hell's Gate. I'll put Last it in chat. time it was called Hell's Gate, and for sure it was, it was hell. But, but now, I don't know, everyone's kind of nuts. So I was here uh, invited by the Reverend. Uh, yes, the Reverend um, brought, uh, Rockhold, uh, he brought you here for, uh, to sort of, the part of he says it's part of a community gathering and you can see he's making his way through the town and a, a you know a town this size is it may have a mayor it may not um last time you were here it was too wild to have a mayor and certainly didn't right. have a sheriff but the uh the way the reverend is um is sort of interacting with the entire crowd both of you get the sense that like if there's a community leader in this town it's this guy Okay. So, um, anything else you guys wish to, or Angus, you want to tell Bill to bring him up to speed here? And one of the things you would recognize that the territorial uh, rangers, uh, whether it's, um, you know, they're in the Union or with, oh, no, because you're the Union equivalent of the um, Texas Rangers. Um, yeah. The, they would recognize, they would likely have some familiarity with the, um, uh, the Weird West. Um, Meaning that if you let him know that you had an encounter with a rattler on the far side, that he may be f familiar with that. Yeah, it says here, Edge is Texas Ranger. You served on the Texas Rangers. Can we call them? Can call oh, them for favors? So, yeah. So, actually, you guys are both uh, one of you from the Union, one of you from the Confederacy. Uh, well, former, right? It's like it's all unified now, right? Uh, mm, I can't remember in the setting. I, thought, I think it's. It got, it's Maybe it unified. is. I, know, yeah, I know they changed it quite a bit, but I don't know whether they they actually split or whether they, what the result of the. Yeah, to be honest, I don't I don't remember if um, maybe it is maybe it is one unified. I think is they don't have uh, it's separate as the Confederate states on the map. Uh, yeah, I'll, yeah. The I'll, Northern victory finally ended the long and tragic civil war. It was just 1871. Oh, great! So yeah, yeah. You're just, so you're just part of uh, yeah. It was just protracted, but... But it ended. Okay, great. So then, yeah, you're, you're part of the Texas Rangers. So you guys, um, there won't be any kind of conflict between the, the two different nations. Um, so... Well, there still could be some bad blood. Lingering. Oh, most certainly. Yeah. Um, so, Mo, anything further you wish to fill Bill in on? Well, I'll mention that we, we did uh, we did face a rattler um, the other side. Um I'm assuming maybe Santiago felt ill or something and is in back at the hotel sort of feeling. Uh, it doesn't matter. We didn't. Uh, <laughs> we don't need to worry about uh, Vomiting or something. Yeah. Um, yeah, so saying, yeah, we, we took my horse and escaped by the skin yeah. of our Um I think I got kind of lucky, though. The old, uh, the old Daisy. Daisy died in the desert and probably ended up being Rattler food. Mm hmm. So, uh, Bill, whoa, I think here what this might be. I think that um, is uh, is Bill. Do you picture him being kind of a jovial type to to 
you know, chat up the locals when he's in town to get a, like a lay of oh, the yeah, land. Oh, yeah, he tries, he tries to do that. He's got to... Yeah. So then um, one thing you didn't hear about, there's been no mention of Rattlers in Death Valley. Hmm. Furnace Creek is the only uh, community in there. But, you know, uh, that would be the, the place where people would go and eat um, if, uh, or the Rattlers would go and eat in, uh, in the event that they, uh, uh, they were preying on things. They there. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you heard no, no news of that. Okay. Should she be there or she be over here? Right, hold on a second. Sorry. Oh, of course, yep, yep. They can weigh in on it too, or where should the butterfly should go? I don't think it matters. Do you think in the middle? Sorry. That's no, okay. All right. So, Interruption. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> no trouble. All right. So yeah, if, if you'd heard, it's curious that he mentions that because if you if there were rattler problems, it's not the kind of thing that you would not notice in a community small enough like Death Valley or like mm-hmm. Furnace Creek. So that's curious. Maybe it's okay. only on one I'd... side of the canyon. Possibly. Okay. Yeah. Well, I will say that a lot of the locals didn't really um, seem to believe us when we said that uh, we'd had rattler problems. So, but uh, sometimes they do tend to. Did you bring that up to them? I want to see. Do you remember if you brought that up to them at all? Yeah, we did. We we said uh, we mentioned the rattlers had taken the horse, and they said, "Oh no, there's no such thing." Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So. So I was going to say, is the reverend sort of walking around? Because um, he I'd is. Like to maybe talk to him, but sure. Um, so let's talk about one so, of the um, uh, sub mechanics in the game uh, to, get, to, to help give you guys an idea of what you can um, do next. So, um, I, Carl, if you played the um, uh, Deadlands Noir uh, version uh, in uh, mm-hmm. the previous edition, you may remember that there was like a uh, it, it's was investigation. You'd be using different skills to try and like go through a montage scene to try and collect information. They've incorporated that into a sub mechanic called networking now. And okay. networking is basically, it's an opportunity for us to sort of gamify the, um, the sort of the sequence of you guys collecting information. Um, so the way that we do this is you guys pick a way of, uh, that you choose to approach. It's either the nice way or the not so nice way. Uh, the nice way is, uh, using persuasion, not so nice way is using intimidation and then other things that you uh, can use, like bribes or uh, threats, can modify those results. And uh, and is okay. very excited about something. <laughs> oh, someone has the temerity uh, to walk past the door. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I mean, even even though in my I'm generally can be intimidating. This this is a nice party, and I was invited by the Reverend. I don't want to cause trouble, so. I was, be try to be nice and talk these people up that I've maybe not the new folks but some of the older folks like the banjo man yep um, try to talk them up and okay ask, you know what's going on so I'll give you because of your your um, your previous visit through here I'll give you a plus one to your persuasion role and then Mo you're, you're yeah. what are you thinking hi sweetie um I think I'd probably try and chip in um, with persuasion, I don't think we want to get too heavy just yet. Well, you guys um, can do separately because that way you guys can actually get in different. Um, yeah. All right. Or maybe yeah. um, if we're sort of say we're mingling and trying to talk to people. Okay. Mm-hmm. So then, uh, why don't you each give us a persuasion roll, Bill? You're getting a plus one to yours. Ooh. Holy hell, Bill! Cheapers. I know. I'm wasting all these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. So then, Bill, what do you think? Um, what do you think? How you're gonna? So, and uh, Angus, you got success as well too. Just it didn't have that mm. ridiculous uh, success. So, what are you? Um, what are you? I'm probably it's like, especially since I you threw out the banjo guy. I'm gonna say, so, uh, so hey, uh, maybe his name is also Bill. Okay. So now, so from Bill the beggar, you're now Bill the banjo man. Uh, that's, that's right. That's awesome. <laughs> this stepped up. Well, Fat Bill, this uh, Heaven's Gate has uh, blessed you most assuredly. 
Most assuredly, the Reverend has been a blessing on this community and all within it. So when when did it change? Well, it, was, it, it was hell on wheels. It was a mining boom town, crazy. Oh uh, no, we were well. All of us was uh, a hell bound before the Reverend came here. Now we uh, we've got the grace grace of uh, the Reverend's teachings. So I have a, a question. So so I guess there, probably before in the boom town there was you know gambling gambling den. Uh, I not guess so much, still a hotel. I mean, like, it would all have been located around the hotel, uh, basically. It's oh, not, so it's like not, sal it, saloon gambling, so not like an actual gambling house. Yeah, yeah. Like, but then brothels? Much, this is closer to, like, the uh, the ghost towns that you would uh, find in uh, uh, Nevada or Arizona or in um, uh, California. Uh, mm -hmm. Less dead, like, Deadwood. Deadwood is it would be a much, much bigger and more active town. There's only one hotel that's been in here ever. Uh, so... Um, but it was exactly all, all the worst uh, sins you can think of, drink and, and gambling and such, um, was in abundance there, here. They, did, did it, from Bill, did they look like they cleaned up? Uh, do you mean like, is he looking more respectable? No, like um, like the saloons are Yeah, the hotel. So uh, yeah. the, if there are brothels, they're... No. Uh, exist? There was only ever really like a tent brothel that was set up, and then it oh, okay. seems to be gone by now. Gone, okay. They, didn't, they never built the... That uh, makes sense. Yeah, and then the... Um, uh, otherwise, like this place, it never... Uh, there was an actual mine shaft. Like there was someone who had enough money to, to sink money into a mine shaft, but otherwise it was mostly like folks who were running their own claims um, yep. out here. Bill was okay. one of those, you know, and just ended up injuring himself. Um. And it, so it was never really a company town, which is why there's not quite as much organization here as there uh, okay. would have been. Um, but the uh, the way he talks about things now is, um, you know, it, it's as if everything else has has gone respectable. Um, you got a, quite a few raises here too. So is there specific information you're trying to to wheedle out of this guy, or or out of the um, you, you're asking around? So I guess what I'm. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to ask like where did all those people go? Did, are they now part of the congregation or did they get kicked out of town or most did, yes. Most stayed as, as part of the congregation that oh, though okay. the um that uh that rat money man uh he headed on. And what he's rat referring to man. you can't remember the guy's name, but it was the, the feller who owned the mine. Okay. And like, unless a mine, your experience is such that, like, unless a mine plays out, uh, money when the, the people who are financing mines they don't walk away from these things. So mm -hmm. that's that's a little unusual. Okay. Um, what you also will find out is that the um, the mines are not active anymore. Oh. This community wow. is turned to the Lord. So how? Okay. Well, I mean, I don't. I have to ask the Reverend how are they going to make the money? Yeah. <laughs> So Angus, uh, what what were you trying to you you mentioned before Mo that you, th you thought you might talk to the Reverend? Um, yeah, I'd, I'm probably going to introduce my, introduce myself and see if I can. Uh, I'll thank him for the the you know, introduction to the meal, and uh, it seems to be a very nice town now. Um, that is very so, uh, fine of you to say. A good impression on them. Very fine for you to say, sir. We are most proud of the change that we have brought upon this place. This is, uh, though it appears to be a blasted part of hell, this we will show that this is a paradise on earth and uh, bring up all the folks who, uh, who live here as well. What brings you to our town, friend? Oh, we were just passing through. Um, I believe my friend was on uh, came through here a few days ago. But um, and Who's that friend? Maybe he just went through and... Um, because no one seems to remember him. Nope. I'll describe him. Okay. The name does that uh, description does not fit anyone I have uh, seen here. Uh, yeah, are you are you certain that he came through here? Oh, definitely. We we arranged to meet up in Deadwood. Well, Deadwood would have been North Dakota, so. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah. <laughs> the, sorry, the hell. Um, Hell's Gate. The Hell's. No, not Hell's Gate. The uh, maybe the other town. Uh, Furnace Creek and. Uh, uh, in, uh, yeah, I'll Death say Valley. that we um, we'd uh, we'd arranged to meet up there, and um, we were on the same route. Uh, the 
Um, I, I cannot say what uh, might have happened to your friend, but uh, I, I, no such person has uh, has passed through this uh, this town. We see all. We see all who come through. All, mm, yeah, of course. And of course, so many who do come through choose to stay with us as well. Uh, would you give us a, a notice check there, Angus? Mm-hmm. See how you do here. Come on. Oh, you want to spend a Benny? Yeah, I think I will at that. Okay. Actually, I'll reroll it and then do the. <laughs> oh boy! All right. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, he seems earnest, as far as you can tell. Okay. Um, and uh, is there any? Um, yeah, yeah, he and I. He actually brings you over and asks around. You know, he gets everyone's attention and asks if anyone saw your your friend, and then uh, tells you like, please go, go describe for everyone who is it that this man is. Well, I, I will describe him and use the name he was traveling under. Uh, okay. And, everyone... and I'll give him the rough date period because okay. we know when they took the. There's everyone is sort of like no, I don't. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Um, Bill, why don't you give us a notice check? Let's see how uh, if you pick up anything. Oh, yeah, at, I got a five. At least, yeah, at least some of the some of this crowd is is fibbing. Okay, the way and that that's they're for. They're given that sort of like... Or, uh, Ag for Agnes's man, right? Yeah, Agnes. So what happens is that uh, you can uh, see... So since, everyone, since everyone is like gathered together, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, Reverend, what about my friend Cletus? Cletus Callahan. Anyone? Anyone seen him? Oh! And he, he kind of steps away from Angus and in that sort of like, you know, tent revival kind of way, everyone listen yeah. up very carefully here. And, and walks over. Has anyone seen Bill? Please, please, uh, Brother Bill, tell us what your friend looked like and the name. We do have folks who are escaping the path of the devil who come here and abandoned their Christian names, taken up false names. What does this man look like? And everyone listen careful. And the entire gathering of like 50 people is all wrapped, silent and wrapped and has full attention on you. Well, he's a he's a tall man, but he stoops. Uh, you'd say maybe he's sort of swarthy, like those folks you see from Louisiana. Uh, but um, oh. yeah, uh, once again, so I describe him as best I can. Yeah, and you don't need to make another roll. Uh, th there's a lot of like flim flamming going on here. Like, oh, I don't. Mm, no, I'm not sure. Oh, oh, oh. He's got this big mole on his cheek. You hear that, folks? A big mole on his cheek. Nobody? Nobody seen anybody like that? Mm. No? Did you check at the hotel? I just came here to eat first. Wow. Ah, well, then, you know, perhaps we could... Uh, Arthur, would you uh, kindly ask uh, uh, Mr. McMillan to join us here, too? I don't, this, I don't think this man would be in a hotel. He's more of an outdoorsy type. Oh, well, the outdoors here, quite uh, um, imposing. Uh, if, if no one, no one here, no one here seen this man. And there's he might a, smell like, he might smell like cattle. Okay. So uh, they ask, and there's a little bit of a laughing amongst the women folk at, at that uh, revelation. Um, but then he says, all right, well, everyone keep an eye out. And if you do, you tell Brother Bill here who you saw so that uh, he can be reunited with his his friend and he looks you in the eye you know and, and it kind of mm. like for a split well, he, well, second the reverend would probably would know right invite, well that's he, just it he, there's a split second where he breaks yeah. the character but it's only oh. with locked eyes of like okay okay hmm and then he goes back to the same jovial and for that split second those eyes are as cold as a rattler mm. in the shadow of morning mm. okay. so um so you, do I think that he's not telling the truth then? Something's going on with him. Yeah. Um, and where you guys felt uh, invisible to this crowd before, 
There is now a conspicuous amount of attention on you. You guys can feel the eyes on you. Not mm. malevolent, just everyone's got their attention on you too. Mm -hmm. What do you guys do? I, I think, uh, if you don't mind, Reverend, I've been, you know, I'm still sad about the loss of old Daisy. I think I'll just fix myself a plate and head out to the hotel, get some rest. You wish to stay at the hotel. You, you, uh, are you certain you oh. wouldn't want to enjoy our hospitality? Angus, you're at the, maybe he doesn't know that you're at the hotel. Mm. Oh, I, I look around and I say, well, and I, cause especially all the food, right? Yeah. So, well, if, if you have, if your cooks continue this fine type of cooking, I, yeah, I'll, I'll be staying with you. Forever. Okay. Um, the smile that goes on his face once again feels as he's got his back to the crowd. He's looking at you. Mm -hmm. The the smile um, that he gives you it uh, it has that plastic quality that like um, you know modern televangelists may give the sleaziest yeah. of, of the televangelists. And he's got this uh, great, wonderful. God bless. <laughs> And he shakes your hand. God and then, bless you too. God bless you too, Reverend, and bless these cooks. I mean, honestly, I mean, I know, I know, Bill's probably playing it up, but he does like to eat. <laughs> he does he like says. to eat. Most he definitely. does like. He likes some good grub. <laughs> All right. So, having uh, uh, gathered the information you guys could from this thing, um, how do you guys want to? Uh, like, do you guys want to um, meet up again, or um, have a chat again, or do you guys wish to transition to the next scene? I don't know. I just said, I, I want to talk to Angus, you know, as we mingle somewhere. I go, Angus, uh, Angus, would you like to see if, if the Reverend has another room in his domicile mm. that you might stay here instead of the hotel? I don't know. Something strange. There's no more mining. I don't know how they're going to make some make money or ends meet, but none of these people look, I mean, there's plenty of food. None of these people look starved. Mm, so where's the money coming from? Um, can I, I assume we've stepped uh, away from the crowd a bit? Maybe we're smoking or something. Um, sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Chewing tobacco. For sure, chewing yeah, tobacco. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'll explain about the ripped out page from the um, register. And, and the fact that... So with the, the dates that, that seem to track along here, it appears that the um, the date the, the from where the page has been torn out, I think it was about a year's worth of uh, dates, mm -hmm. of guests that were oh. torn out. Strange. So, what do you think, Angus? Might be a bit risky, but um, yeah. Well, let's see if I can stay the night here as well. Um, All right. So, I'm going to go over to the Reverend and go. This is my 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 friend here. Um, I I know he dresses kind of funny, like you know, but but I've gotten to know him and he seems pretty. Pretty nice. So maybe you have an extra room. Oh, uh, you staying over at the hotel. But, most you know. our congregation and our home, God's home, is open to all who wants to come in. So I so will. We staying in the church or like a house. We like, have. I mean, if in the two of you wish to stay together, uh, we will have a side house. There is a, a, a lovely. It is not luxury. Those in heaven's gate have not. Uh, we are rich in the blessings of the Lord, but nothing. I understand, Reverend. I, I am an austere man myself. I love the open sky. I could, I could sleep outside and and watch the stars and pray, we, pray to God and His good glory. Then uh, we will uh, most assuredly. Why don't you give us a, give me a persuasion check there, Bill? I just want to see something. Oh. Okay. Man, I'm killing it. Yep. It's going to all go south if we can. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Isn't that the way it goes? Uh, yeah. So what you um, uh, what you guys are offered is a, uh, yeah, like, I mean, one of these, if you can look at the, the uh, let me close up these things here for the Reverend and his son. Um, it'll be one of these buildings, um, something like this here, that you guys will be offered, you know, or, or here. Um, it yep. appears that like for some of the folks who did leave, 
The Reverend and his family have uh, taken up the former owner of the uh, mine. There, it's it's by mm -hmm. no means like a mansion or anything like that, but it is the nicest Pretty building in town. Yeah. And right near there, there's another one that's been abandoned, uh, or perhaps just it's been offered up to you guys. And it's sort of between two other ramshackle buildings, like an incredible fire hazard, but it just the nature of the way that you build these things as you're just throwing up buildings with the limited supplies you have. Mm -hmm. um, so you guys will have one, and there's uh, it sounds like there's folks on either side who will be uh, joining you or who will be uh, um, abutting. But yeah, it's, yep. it's really going to be like, um, you know, there's like a, a, a room that'll double as like a, a sleeping quarters. And then there's a room that could be, actually, it's probably only one. It's probably only one room. Um, so there's a, a desk or a, uh, like a, a table that's been roughly uh, put together. Um, two chairs in here. They've seemed to have put the a second chair in because they don't match. And there's a, uh, there's yep. two cots that have been put in here as well too. So the uh, this will be where you uh, where you are welcome. What you guys also see is um, before we leave the uh, the picnic, um, his son Arthur uh, Rockhold seems to bring over um, Mr. McMillan, the owner of the hotel, and uh, Angus had met him before. Um, but uh, Carl or Carl uh, Bill, he um, he brings him over in front of them, and before you guys, maybe this is when. You know, when he's talking about putting you guys up, the Reverend says, Oh, and I see that Arthur has brought over uh, Mr. McMillan. Uh, Mr. McMillan, he says this in front of everybody as well, too. Mr. McMillan, uh, we've got another uh, new uh, uh, lost uh, calf here who ha says he has uh, lost track of a friend as well, too. I'm wondering if you might tell him whether... Uh, and, and he repeats the sort of description that uh, you had offered to the tall, hunched over, the mole on his mm -hmm. face, that kind of stuff. And um, why don't you each give us a notice check, please? Okay. Oh, did we lose mole? Oh, there you are, mole. You're back. Good. Oh, only only got a four. Okay. That's uh, that's enough. Success is enough. Yeah. Yep, Mo, we can hear you. Sorry, can we hear me? We can, yep. Yep. Where's my camera gone? I do not know. I can see you, though. I don't know. Uh, Mo, I can't, yeah, I... let's let's uh, worry about the camera on the break, maybe. I can see you still. Um, why don't you give us a notice check, please? I can't hear you. Um... Okay. Let's see here. Is Mo still in the meat? Oh, he's still in the meat. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do this here. All right. Okay. Mo, can you hear us now? <laughs> okay. Well, what I'll no. say, oh no. What I'll say is uh, that uh, Bill, you can see that uh, Mr. Uh, you you've never met Mr. McMillan. Oh, he made it. Oh, he didn't see. He didn't see anything. You got he didn't see anything anyway. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. what you notice, uh, Bill, is that um, uh, Mr. McMillan, who you've never met before, gives a nervous sort of side eye to um, uh, to the brother. Mo, can you hear us now? You're back. I heard the sound. Can you of hear someone. us now? Yeah, face tells me no. <laughs> well, what we'll do is we'll take a break in a moment here, and then uh, maybe Mo can uh, log out of everything and log back in again during the break. Um, so let me tell uh, him. There you go. I heard you. Yeah. Uh, some reason it switched. Um, switched my out to hmm. the other. God. <laughs> Weird. So, in any event, you didn't uh, notice anything. What Bill noticed is that Mr. McMillan gave a nervous look towards Arthur, Arthur Rockhold, uh, the son of the preacher, and then back and says, "No, sir, I, I, I don't, I don't recall seeing anybody like that." And it, you don't need to make any further rules to know he seems to be uh, like some of the bad liars. Though, the difference being that his lying seems to be under duress. 
Who McMillan, right? McMillan does, McMillan. yeah. The the and McMillan was what? The hotelier. He was the hotel guy. Yep, hotel owner. Okay. Might have to talk to him a little later. Mm-hmm. It's his son, Angus had that was talking about. Uh, his son yep. is Paul. And uh, he had been uh, pretty free with the uh, words. So with that, um, the uh, Reverend turns around and says, Well, then, then, it appears that we uh, none have seen him uh, thus far, friend. Um, then I, I, then I, 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 I will probably enjoy your hospitality, not more than a day or two, Reverend, and then I'll be on my way. Uh, I, I got to find this man. I can appreciate that. We will be sad to see you go, Brother Bill. But uh, we understand if you've got uh, responsibilities that call you elsewhere. The Lord brings us to the place we need to be, and I trust that he would do the same with you. Amen. Amen. Um, so then, with uh, I need to grab actually another book anyway, so why don't we take our mid-session break now, um, and then we'll take our break, refresh our beverages and such, and then we'll come back. Yeah, i got to and- get these... My, these cats out of here <laughs> uh, certain cats are okay in the room yeah yeah but like some of them are a bit more mischievous yeah well, i think anna banana needs to take a break outside too so yeah <laughs> for those listening at home we'll be back momentarily
Alrighty. So, check my chat here. Dave, what's going on? Yep. Hello, hello. Crumb, what's going on? The smile of a used stagecoach salesman. You know it. That <laughs> preacher cannot be trusted. So, guys. Oh, nope. fuck. I forgot to read the book. <laughs> Give me two seconds. What a dummy. Ugh. So then, guys, uh, you make your way to uh, your air. What will be your home for the evening? Yep. And uh, what do you guys? Uh, uh, what do you guys want to be doing? Any discussions you guys want to have, or now that you got some privacy? Well. Well, agents say, man, I, I, these these folks are these folks are lying. It's very clear to me. Oh, Mo, you are but, muted. But but why? I, I, oh, why? Why would they be? I, mean, I don't know. Uh, have well, they seen these folks? These some... folks were looking for. They've seen them. Something's happened to them. I mean, well, hell, I, I mean. I could care less if, uh, if old Rick Montreux is alive or dead, but, you know, I got to finish. I got to get my man. Yeah, I wonder if people who aren't quite so receptive to the Reverend, uh, the Reverend's words may uh, end up disappearing. Um, be interesting to actually see if there are any sort of fresh graves in the cemetery. Well, I mean, there's there's plenty of holes in these, there, in these here parts. Someone could get dumped in a mine shaft, you know? Mm. But what's interesting, too, is the, uh, you know, the mine speculators, the big guys that got with all the money, they're gone. Yeah, that seems unusual. Um, unless they were given but no one, and no one's, But no one's mining anyway, so... Yeah, that's the only thing that's really keeping this town going, really, is the mine, so... Um, oh, I, I mean, I don't know. If, if I can't find Cletus, I mean, I'd, I'd definitely be fun to snoop around. But... Do we want to try and, like, do some investigating uh, after hours? Maybe um, find anything uh, under the church? Maybe there's something in the church basement? Get out and of find it. out what's maybe going on there? Because it all looks a bit yeah. fishy to me. Well, I could tell you that, that all the old... Uh, Hotel guy, that Smith Millen fella, he uh, he's hiding something. So I wouldn't mind going oh, and talking yeah, to him. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, um, well, maybe we should just stay here tonight and see what happens. I mean, uh, keep a chair up against the door, maybe, and um, because he yeah. does give the impression that people that maybe that don't fit tend to disappear. Okay. Well, you know, we could do what we do out in the. Out in the wild, you know, sleep with one eye open. One of us oh, keeps yeah. watch; the other one sleep. You know. Yeah, I think that would be a, a good idea. Well, we, right. would you suggest also gripping your pillow tight, Carl? Or <laughs> <laughs> do we have, do we little, have little metalhead joke for you there? <laughs> I know. Do we have pillows? Uh, you've got what passes for it. It's, it's something. F I know. <laughs> no, you know what? You actually yeah, I... probably do because the the oh, the, right. the late coming townsfolk probably. They're giving you some, like, you know, clean linen and, like, much better than what you would expect from uh, this kind of community. Yeah, yeah. It's huh. mismatched and stuff like that, like, in the way that, um, you know, farming communities would. But they, there may be some uh, congregation members who are giving up their, you know, uh, their um, bed for you. Yeah, but it's clean, you know. That's yep. crazy. Absolutely. So, what do you guys plan? Right. Anything else you plan on doing tonight before hitting the sack? No, I think we're going to see what happens and then 
continue our like to shake down some people in the morning. Okay. And then mm. maybe that'll lead somewhere. All right. So then, um, guys. So I guess, uh, so, so actually, <laughs> Bill's gonna, he's gonna lie down and take a little nap. He's not gonna say, you know, that's what I'm right. gonna do. I'll take the first watch and, um, <clears throat> all right. All right. Give us, uh, I said, well, wake me up if, uh, something happens. Angus, give us a figure check. Yeah, his hat goes over his head and boom, he's out. <laughs> yeah, too too much food. Got uh, that pre-diabetic coma. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Angus, give us a uh, vigor check, please. Right, vigor, vigor, vigor. Oh, sorry. Awesome. Yeah, you have no difficulty uh, staying awake uh, and keeping your senses sharp. You're not sure how long Bill's been sleeping, but you do know that uh, you're, you're not. You're grateful that you'll be trading off with him and not trying to fall asleep while he's snoring, um, because it would definitely be he would give a um, you know uh, some of the louder mo locomotives a uh, 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 run for their money. However, it's uh, so you may not see it, but during the lulls when uh, Bill is taken in air. Um, it's about four hours into your evening when you can hear the very subtle creak from one of the floorboards. And the thing is, it's not outside of this hovel. It's inside it. You hear it. And it, then the board next to it creaks as well, too. The next as well. Would you give us a notice check, please? Something very subtle that's happening here. I want to see if you pick it up. Oh, hell yeah. What you're seeing is that just ever so slightly, the boards are beginning to bow. Up a little bit, and then up a little higher. As they get closer, like they're progressively getting a little more warped as if something was moving beneath the surface and disturbing where those are. It currently is about uh, maybe two yards away from you. So uh, on the far side of the room, as it were. What do you do? Okay. Um, I'm going to... I'll have taken my belt off, so the gun's on the table next to me. I shall reach out and pick up the uh, uh, Rainmaker okay. and silently, as much as I can, cock the hammer. Hmm. I can't remember this a single action or a double action actually. Uh, which one is you, are you using? The rainmaker. I think unless you are a pistolero of some kind, you're probably using a double action. Because uh, a single action, the only advantage is that is, is that you can fan the hammer. Yep. Uh, I've just checked uh, Wikipedia, and it is a double action. Okay. Right. All right. So you got your uh, peacemaker out, and you click it back. Uh, would you give us a? I want to make a contested uh, sleight of hand. Or what is it? Thievery. Thievery uh, check. If you're not skilled in thievery, just give us an unskilled check. Would that be stealth? Um, No, because you're I trying... I can't see it. Uh, well, that's being because you don't have it. The yeah. Thievery is more... I, I'm not seeing it as stealth. Oh, as, yeah. yeah. Well, if it's a double action, I don't need to cock the hammer, do I? So I'll just okay. hold it. All right. Uh, so then, um, you see it creaks a little further forward, a little further forward until it's right in the middle of the uh, of the room, and then something suddenly bursts out of the ground, uh, followed by a second creature, and what it looks like. Oh, where is it here? Oh, where'd I put it? I don't know if I did a... Mm, here we go. All right, Anna. <laughs> Very excited. You should record some of our howls and then get into a backing track for when we do the curse yeah, yeah. track or something like that. <laughs> well, we've got... Um, 
uh, what do you call it? Um, one second here. Uh, uh, we got a uh, Hobbs's character actually in this has a phobia of dogs now, and I've told him that if he uh, mimics, you know, fear when we hear Anna bark, and he gets a Benny for it. <laughs> Alrighty. So, this is what bursts out. Whoa. And what I need from you is uh, Angus. Is anyone up? No, oh, there's no one outside. I'm going to close my office door one sec. All right, Anna. There's one knucklehead in our neighborhood who insists on when he walks his dog, he stops in front of our house. <laughs> okay. You get dog barking? Yeah, just to get my dog barking. Like, just fucking prick. Weird. How do you. Yeah. Um, but, um, what. Um, let's see here. What uh, I need from you, uh, Angus, is a spirit check, please. And I, I'm not sure if you've got any guts. I've oh, got you... guts, which I think okay. gives me a. Uh... Reroll. Free reroll. Oh, free reroll on spirits. Yeah. Okay. So you get um, uh, this has a net minus three. One for the ambient fear level, and then one for the um, what do you call it? Uh, one for uh, the um, creature itself. So is that a net minus three or a net minus net two? minus three? I'll tell you minus three. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. It's okay. Go ahead and give us a spirit roll. Oh shit! Oh, well, that's your smarts you rolled for one. Oh, sorry. Spirit. Uh, well, you, you, good. I think that's, that's that's a better chance of it, and it's still a fail. So, uh, do you wish to spend a Benny? Uh, well, I, well, I get no, the free reroll. You know, you. you, no, you uh, oh, you did get a free reroll. So let's that's fail and fail. Uh, do you want to spend a Benny? Yes, uh, I think I will. Okay. Oh, no, not minus thirty-four. <laughs> Oh, Jeez. Sheepers. Alrighty, then. Oh, uh, okay. Give me a sec here. Is fear table on here? Nope, but it's on the Deadlands one. Ah. So I need you to give us a 1d20 plus uh, two roll, please. Oh, shit. Oh my god. It's either really good or really bad. You're gonna so you gain a minor phobia associated with creepy crawly things. And you can just drag and drop that from your uh uh what do you call it? Uh from the compendium into your character sheet. Alright. So uh that's what happens there. Uh Bill. Let's see here. Yep. Uh you are surprised, which means uh, give us a notice check. Let's see if you get a chance to get an action card this round. Okay. Well, I got a four. But... A four. Yes, so you will be acting this. You ugh, snort out of, uh, you know, whoa, jeez. Yeah. Yep. Uh, all right, so let's see here. And I just want to check one. I need to do a fear check too then, right? Yeah, well, you turn over and you see this thing. Go ahead and give right. us a... So I have a plus two versus fear, so I have a net minus one. Net minus one. You got it. Okay. Ooh. Success, no problem. So <laughs> okay. Angus has, uh, you can see the color drain from his face, uh, but um, with uh, Bill, you look over and all you see is just two of these nasty buggers uh, that mm -hmm. need dealing with. So let me just put uh, two things down here. To oh, How would I change to the actual selection? Boom. So two of these things crawling their way out of that hole in the ground. Mm -hmm. And let's see here. Uh, because you failed, um, let's see if something else that happens. Oh, so you are shaken right now, uh, too, Angus. Uh, you are shaken. Mm -hmm. Oh, and fatigued. Jeepers. So you can tick um, fatigue, and I think we've been using uh, shaken as the X thing. All right. So then, guys, uh, we will be diving into uh, these things. Do not seem to want to make friends, uh, but both of you guys, 
uh, are able to get to take part in this round. Now, uh, do either of you have anything that gives you extra cards? I do not. No, no, I don't think no. you do either. Okay, so then, uh, Carl, what we've been doing is I've just been drawing the cards for you guys so we can have them sure. placed and start. So for Angus, five of clubs or of uh, spades. Bill, nine of diamonds. And then for these critters, two of spades. Nice. All right, anyone want to spend bennies to... Um, oh, we're starting the second half of the game so everyone gets a benny. And then does anyone want to spend a benny to um, redraw a card? No, I'm, I'm actually good. To not draw the card. Okay. Mo, no, you want... I think I'm, I'm fine as I am, I think, and I'm a bit shaken. To t yeah. Okay. No. Let me tell you that I, I because I um, I start with uh, um, one Benny for each of the players, uh, I'm spending a Benny to redraw for these critters to make things interesting. So. Oh, ho, 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 ho. does that change the assessment there, Angus? Well, in that case, yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bite at that oh penny. no, <laughs> Jeepers. Oh, and that's um, oh, no. clubs are a disadvantage, aren't they? Um, uh, only on the chase. Oh, yeah, when you're doing a chase, there's a complication with clubs. Yeah. All right, so then, guys, uh, we got Bill the Tater up first. So, Bill, you're lying on the you're prone on the ground. What do you want to do? Well, like lying in the bed, right? So, yeah, uh, I probably don't have. I guess the, I don't know. The only thing I can think of is that it seems logical that I would have like my Bowie knife on me. So here's one of the things you can do. Um, you can like, like if you've taken a multiple action. So if you're like grabbing something and getting it ready, you just take minus two for each extra action on top of the first one that you do. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I guess. So that, how does that double? How does that? work with double tap then. Double tap is just one action and so it would be uh, double tap has one action, you get plus one to hit, plus one damage, uh, but you would also yep. get the minus two for the multi-action penalty for, for drawing it. For for drawing, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do that. Okay. So I'm going to reach for my, my gun, which is probably you know under my pillow. Yep. Um, and, and take blast the one of them. Alright, so you take a net of minus one to the shot. Okay, and I gotta open my guy. Okay, and that's shooting. Yeah. Is there any bit bonus for? They're like up in our face. Uh, they are quite point big, blank. Uh, but they don't no uh, no extra bonus for it now. Or point blank, or is there a point blank bonus? No, no. Okay. All right. For what the way that sort of works is that if you're in uh, melee, you can use a pistol in uh, melee and and not worry about you know and and. About yeah, yeah. rifles and whatnot, you can't. All right, so that's actually hit, uh, with the, even with the penalty. So go ahead and roll damage. Oh, you know what? Hold on, don't roll shooting. Roll on the weapon itself, because then it'll uh, it'll prompt you to roll uh, damage right away. Okay, shoot. That's okay. Just click on the whatever weapon you shot. Yeah, let's see, Colt. Should I, re should I re roll? Or no, no, no. But, you, know, you, you don't take. Uh, don't lose the the hit. Uh, so now just okay. click on roll damage. So and I get a plus one. Plus one to the damage roll, yep. Yeah. What is their toughness? Ooh. Ooh. Holy hell. 11 and it's 1 AP. Cheapers. All right, so that's actually... You're, a, you're like a bam, bam. Yeah, bam, bam, bam. So you're blazing away, and like as it's hitting, you know, there is uh, bits of not this sort of greenish ichor that <laughs> splats out of them, and worms fall out. They <laughs> hit the ground and kind of wriggling around. And where the blood or whatever is inside these things, the goo hits the wall, it sizzles and starts eating away. Uh, you have shaken one of them. So, oh, okay. oh we'll do this. <laughs> All right. Then it is uh, these things turn. Uh, so one of them needs to roll to try and recover from shaken. What is spirit? Okay, uh, they are not wild cards, so they don't get any extra dice. Um, I recover from being shaken, but I don't get to take an action. So this thing sort of shakes itself, and you can see that the hole there is sort of <laughs> like sealed up by the worms. And it looks at you at <sighs> that, that like lamprey-like mouth opens, and worms kind of <laughs> wiggle, wiggle out. Angus, mm -hmm. this thing's going after you now. <laughs> So it will do something, agency. Do something, do something, agency. <laughs> so let's see here. Now you Step can out of it if you want. Uh, so you're the fact that you're f where is it here? Fatigued. Um, I can't remember if it gives you a penalty to 
Minus one to all actions, so it doesn't affect your parry. Um, and sh being shaken doesn't affect your your chance of getting hurt. You're still free to defend yourself. Uh, so what is your parry, Angus? Uh, six. Six. Oh, boy. All right. So, let's see. This thing comes in. Those vicious-looking claws. Bits of greenish acid dripping from its mouth. I got a hit. Not a raise, just a hit. So, its claws will hit you. All right. Here we go. Uh, I rolled snake eyes. So you sort of, in spite of you being completely, you know, stru struck dumb by these things and the reaction you're going to have to these critters going forward, you manage to pull yourself back and it rakes along and all it does is ruin that lovely bolo tie you got around your neck. <laughs> all right, then uh, next is Angus. We do, uh, so you are shaken. Um, you can spend a Benny to recover from being shaken or you can just roll a spirit. And if you get a raise, then you get to take an action as well. Otherwise... You just have to roll to see if you can recover. What are you thinking? I don't want to use my last Benny. I'm going to try for Spirit. Okay. And see if I can recover that way. Sounds good. Uh, I'm at the minus one now as for this. Well, uh, because of the fatigue, yes. It, if you've got fatigue uh, checked there, it should roll. Yeah, it's already. Uh, you you don't need to add an extra modifier. Oh. It looks like fatigue is oh, already right, tracked. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so unfortunately, that's not good enough. Do you want to spend a Benny to re-roll? I think I'd better. Okay. Um, so hold on here. You could spend a Benny to re-roll, or you could spend a Benny to automatically recover from being shaken. I think okay. I'll I'll do that to become unshaken, and then well, then see what happens next turn. No, you can't take an act because you rolled uh, to be to recover. That was your action, so you've already taken your action this turn. All right. Yeah. So that's sort of the risk reward of of getting it. So yeah. your Benny is gone, but oh, hold on. Your ben yeah, your Benny's gone, but you are also not shaken any longer. All righty. Yeah. Next turn. Here we go. Um, we'll reverse now. Bill, six. Uh, oh, wrong. Hold on, wrong cards. Uh, here we go. Bill, jo oh, joke or uh, Jack, Angus, six. Dang it. And the critters, ace. Mm. Anybody want to spend bennies? Yeah, <laughs> Sorry, Mo. Better to save them. <laughs> Alrighty. So then, uh, first up is these critters. So once again, this thing is going to try and get you, um, Angus. Uh, so I'll roll its fighting. Uh, this time it misses you. You kind of get out of the chair that you were in and stagger back, and its claws <laughs> rake along the uh, uh, the table that it was on. And then Bill, the one that was next to you, leaps onto the bed. What's your parry? Uh, eight. Eight. Oh, so I just barely. Wait, is that your toughness or your parry? No, it's eight. Parry is eight, and toughness is eight. Holy shit! That's, you are yeah, one tough have. hombre. He's, he's spry for it. He's spry for it. So you, uh, what do you call that lovely linen? It's all that, actually, it's all muscle. <laughs> yeah, really. So this thing's about to get down on you, and you, what? You kind of roll to the side, and that linen yeah. is torn away by its claws going across. Uh, Bill, you're up next. What are you doing? Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like uh, he's gonna reach under the bed for the shotgun. I know it's a minus two, but that's okay. I'm gonna fire the fire the shotgun. So are you that's one handing thing. the shotgun, or are you dropping your pistol? I gotta drop. I gotta drop the pistol. I mean, I got. I got the yep. Bowie knife as a backup, just in case. You got it. Okay, so pistol drops this the ground. This thing kind of sh seemed to, for me, in my in my mind, it shrugged off the shit. Uh, um, the pop pop. You're in melee. You can't use a shotgun. Oh, okay, okay. So I guess I'll stick with the pistol. Okay. I can use that, right, in melee. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. And you yeah. can double. Uh, right, so he's you... gonna roll roll over and just, you know, double tap again. Sounds good. Uh, this so means four. you're not taking any penalty. You get plus one to hit. Yeah, and if you just click on your weapon, it should uh, give you... There you go. Nice. Hell yeah, and you got a raise on it too. Go ahead and roll damage with plus one to damage. Okay, okay roll damage. <laughs> Shit. And 18, 18 though, right? Because the bonus damage. Yeah, uh, we got 18, uh, and then does that include your plus one? Yeah, I yep. put a plus one on this. Fuck yeah. 18, um, you got... Just for frame of reference here, it's AP1. Uh, two raises. Yeah, it's AP1 on the... So it's a success. Yeah, AP1 on the... 
plus two raises. Yeah. They these things are not wild cards, which means one wound on them is enough. So there's like one hit, one shot knocks it back a bit, and the second one hits yeah. it square in the head. <laughs> it drops down dead. <laughs> the worms wriggling away. Angus, your turn. What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to effectively try and repeat that. Okay. Uh, by shooting at it with the. Uh, so it should automatically. Yep, the rainmaker. That's good yep. enough. Yep, includes your fatigue roll. So that's a hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Nice. Oh shit! So poof, you hit this. You fire. You hit this thing, but it like it grazes it on the side. And that's it. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Next round. Back to uh, Angus. You get the first one. Oh, fucking hell. Two. Jeez. Bill an ace. Hey, nice. And the critter, a seven. Um, I'm going to assume you don't want to spend any <laughs> pennies there, Bill, no, so why don't you take nope. your action? Yep. Well, he's going to, gonna like, you know, fire fire at the one on Angus. He's, I think he feels uh, confident enough that even though, you know. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Even <laughs> though he's goes. in me melee with it. Plus, you know, he just met Angus. Yeah, yep. Right, but I still get the plus one, right? Uh, you do get the plus one for a double act, for yeah, and this will be your. Uh, it'll be empty at this point. Empty after this, yeah. Yeah. It's a six. Six. Uh, six. Yeah, oh, ooh, here we go. Oh, yep, that's nice. a hit. Uh, go ahead and roll damage. Damage, come on. It'll be plus one oh, damage one. from the. I can use Benny. Oh. It's shaken. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this thing. <laughs> So on its turn, it needs to try and recover from being shaken. Uh, spirit, okay. Now it recovers. Uh, but it does not get a chance to take an action. Angus, your turn. What are you doing? Get it. Mm -hmm. Go. It's a hit. Go ahead and roll damage. No rain, so. Here we go. <sighs> Again, grazing it, not enough, though. All right, then, on next turn. Uh, Bill, we're back to you going first here. Bill, you're getting a nine. Angus, king. Nice. And the critters, a three. Angus, you're up next. What are you doing? Oh, sorry, I was just... Yep, oh, your again. turn. Yep. Um, right, I should just blaze away at it. Okay. Get off me. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Was that your roll there, the seven? No, that was your damage you rolled before. That's the last so, yeah, I don't yeah. think it took, so let me try again. Oh, Rainmaker, no modifiers. See, so you have like a Rainmaker and I have a Thunder. I guess you have a 32. <laughs> I have the 41. I don't oh, know. yeah, so that will be the hit. So, seven? No, no, seven is the damage. We still haven't seen the result of your roll. Hang on. All right. Rainmaker. This modifies nothing. I don't know if there's just a delay on your end. Delay? Yeah. What's going on here? It's been a bit slow. Do you want me to try and reconnect? Uh, no, no, no. Let's just see. Uh, I'm gonna, I'll try making a roll from your sheet here. And see if it. Oh, there's something shows up. Oh shit! A zero and a one was your first roll. All so, right. um, yeah, that's a. It's not a fumble, so there's that. Um, then it's uh, Bill's turn. Oh yeah, you're out of Benny's. Okay. Uh, she. Well, Bill is going to. So, like, so how many actions is it to draw the Bowie? Move and move over there and attack. Move is Can always move? Uh, unless you're uh, having to run. Well, even if you're having to run, uh, uh, moving all it does is just adjust uh, penalties. Uh, so okay, it, it'll so give you. But this is a, sl a small enough place. It'll be an action to draw the the Bowie knife and then to attack. So it'll be minus two. Yeah, I think that's better to to do that than to try to spend around reloading. Okay. All right. Now hold on. The Bowie knife. Is there a bonus for ganging up? There is. Yep. Uh, plus one to your fighting. Okay. And then it's yeah. parry. 
Uh, does that include your plus one? I don't get a plus one on the Bowie. No, think. no, no, from the um, ganging up. Yeah, it does. It does. It does. Oh, okay. Plus one. So, unfortunately, not quite enough. I'm going to use a Benny to re-roll that. Re-roll, okay. Oh, just re-roll. Just hit the re-roll, right? Yeah, that's right. Yep. Okay. That was pretty... There you go. Ooh, there you oh, go. Oh, nice. Uh, so, not a, not a raise, unfortunately, but it is a hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Yeah. Okay. And it'll roll... I don't... There's no modifier on the damage, right? No modifier and damage, no. Okay. Uh, and it already has... A, it's also AP1. Nice. Oh, nice. All um, right. Uh, so uh, AP1, uh, which I didn't put on the sh thing. Uh, so that's enough to shake it. Good. So that means it right. needs... So you're raking along. It's going to need to recover itself or try to uh, before it mm -hmm. can take an action next. So let's see Ooh. if it recovers here. Uh, I do, but I do not get a raise. So it's the end of that turn, guys. Next round. Okay. Angus is getting the first one this time. King for Angus. Nice. And for Bill, an eight. And for the critter, come here, you. Five. Angus, you're up first. What are you doing? Well, I will attempt to shoot it again. Okay. So you don't get the ganging up bonus because you're not uh, in melee with it, but go ahead. I don't know what's up with roll 20. That's yeah, weird. It's a strange delay on your end. Um, and how do I how do I take off the Benny? Right? I have three little oh, I just click on the token and then that little circle. And just Got go. it. Yeah. All right. Come on, Angus. There you go. Uh, so hit. that is a hit. Go ahead and roll damage. No race, but come on, exploding dice. Here it comes. Fatigue, man. Take this thing down. Fuck. No. Sheets. All right. Oh, man. You see, I mean, this thing has terrified you and your... A agency, you need a bigger gun. <laughs> Bill, what are you doing? Stabbing yeah, the hell out of I it. I thought it would be a bit, um, a bit obvious. So now I'm wishing I had brought the gun. <laughs> your Gatling pistol? Yeah. All right. It's a, All right. It looks like a hit. Yeah, right? A seven? Uh, that oh, is... Not. <laughs> yep, that's a hit. No okay. raise. Okay. We'll go ahead and roll damage. All right. Come, Come on. on. <sighs> All right. So on this thing's turn, it's going to try and claw both of you. So it's taking a multi-action penalty. Wait, can I use a Benny to re-roll damage? Abso uh, real da yes, absolutely. I will do that. The Benny to re damage. Come on. Nope. It's the same. Or graze or nothing. Yeah, whatever. Where did it, uh, I don't think I saw, did you hit re-roll or did you hit roll damage? Yeah, I, I hit re-roll. Oh, no, because re-roll will re-roll the skill. You got to hit roll damage. Oh, roll, roll damage, okay. Yeah, yeah. I think you actually hit. I hit re-roll. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's why. So this is Benny your. Worth oh, you know what, though? That's the, what? that's the bonus damage. Oh. And you need a raise in order to get the. <laughs> damage. Shit. Now, however, you did spend a Benny to re-roll damage. Now click on re-roll damage. I don't think we saw your damage yet from that first attack. Oh, really? Yeah, because I think you hit re-roll instead of roll damage. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. So go ahead and hit re-roll damage. Yeah, we'll get a better result here. Uh, 10 oh. is better. It's AP 1. You've shaken it again. Okay. Nice. So it's not going to be able to... Well, Dang, uh, that, that 27 would have been... Oh, that would have been amazing. Um, and I did recover, but no raise. So mm -hmm. then, guys, come on. You got to take this thing down. I uh, think Angus is getting the first one this time. Or maybe I did, oh, I did that backwards. Okay. Ace for Bill, though. And a two for the critter. Bill, what are you doing? Stab away. Okay. Eventually, this thing's got to... Get down! Oh. It is shaking. Die, up. you damn worm thing! Yeah, if you get a, uh, if you manage to get a success on a damage roll in this one, it goes down. Oh, because it's shaken. Because right? it's shaken. It oh, no, I recovered from shaking last time, so. Oh, uh, never mind. Yep, never mind. I'm a liar. Vicious, dirty <laughs> liar. Okay, come on. That's a hit. That's it. Oh, no, it right? isn't. Nope, because no, it's, it's, yeah, because it doesn't beat his parry. All right, uh, Angus, what are you doing? I'll save my Benny. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can spend your Benny if you like. Um, no, I'll save it, I think. Okay, Angus, what are you doing? This thing just not, seems to not um, want to go down. It. Okay, go ahead. No, that's 
not going to be a hit, is it? Uh, that is not going to be a hit. Shit. That means it's this thing's turn. So then what this thing does is it looks at you both and kind of like... <laughs> there's a jerking a, like that goes through its whole body. And then it... <laughs> and sprays this acidic mist at both of you. So I need to roll a shooting check against each of you. Uh, so against... Uh, Bill, I rolled a uh, hit, a four, and against Angus, a three, I missed. So against Bill, I uh, do, I'll roll the damage in chat here. Um, what's R, D, what's D, eight. I think, does that do it right? Oh, no. Yeah. Only three points of damage, though, so, uh, that means you're with your toughness, Bill. You easily wow, get back. There's a little bit of discoloration on your duster. It burns. It burns my duster. Yep, that's it. All right, guys. Next round, uh, Bill. You're up first here. Five, Angus. Four. Those jokers uh -oh. got to come out sometime. Uh oh, Bill. You want to spend a Benny to get a new card or? No, I want to save. I'll save a Benny for save a it. Thing or a soaking thing. All right. Uh, so then I think this thing is going to... Hmm. Evens. Uh, it is... Here, a one, it's a Angus. A two, it'll be Bill. Bill doesn't like you. So it's going to focus right. you in that boom. Come at knife. me. All Come right. Me, you damn worm thing. <laughs> nice. All right. And uh, your parry's at eight. I did not succeed. So you keep... In, it's... La, 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 screaming and uh, clawing at you. And uh, you don't seem to be, um, yeah, seems to be nothing going on. Okay. Bill, you're up next. What are you doing? I'm going to chop. Instead of slicing, I'm going to chop. Maybe. Yeah. I know it makes no you know, game. Nope. <laughs> Maybe Roll20 is <laughs> listening. Yeah. That's a hit. Oh, hit. oh no, it's not. Oh, dang. dang. I, I got to spend my last penny to. You spend your last penny? Yeah. Nice. To try to hit Just this click, thing. Click, click on reroll. On re-roll, okay. Yep. Here we go. Come on. Nope. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, oh, that does include the gang up bonus, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Dang. God oh, dang. Yeah, it does. Yeah. All right. Uh, so it's not getting through. Angus, what are you doing? How many shots do you have left in this gun? Um, <clears throat> that's it. I'm out. It's six. Um, in the room, is there a, like an oil lamp that was to one side that was just on low? Probably, yep. Yeah. In that case, I'm going to stagger back and sort of say, "Watch yourself, Bill." So if you're moving, mm, lamp and throw it. I'm going to say it's in the is same. Is that more than one turn? Uh, no, no, no. It'll, it'll be you'll be able to reach over and grab it. I think this place is so small. You probably got the lamp sitting next to you, yeah. so you can grab the lamp and try and get it. So, um, why don't you give us a fighting uh, roll, please? Because you don't really have space to throw this thing. It's really more you're trying to smash it on top of it. Uh, now, the thing is, that did not include the gang up bonus that you get from it. So that's actually a hit. Mm -hmm. Now, what I will say is... Um, yeah, oh. I, th I think Angus is thinking, well, he my gun doesn't seem to be hurting it, so I'm going to try and burn it. Yeah, yeah, no, that makes total sense. Um, mm, oh, wrong one. Here we are. Give me one more second here, guys. Sorry about that. As I thought that there was... One of these had uh, improvised like weapon fire. damage on it. Um, yeah, there was like automatic... No, 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 stuff. Yeah, I thought one of the screens had it. Maybe I might be thinking of uh, a different game. Um, but in any event, you know what I'll say is uh, this will do uh, 2d8 uh, damage. And if it succeeds, if you get a... Uh, if you get a um, Exploding dice on it, uh, then it'll catch fire as well. 2d8. 2d8, please. Come on. So 10 uh, is enough to... F it's shaking right now, but unfortunately, the it did nothing is... It's not burning. It's not on fire. Uh, but you have it shaken right now, which means if you guys are able to take this thing... To act before yeah, this yeah. thing and injure it? Okay. So, uh, Angus. Ace. Oh, wrong card. Wrong card. Sorry. 
Uh, nine for Angus. Queen for Bill. And the Critter. Queen. Now we go in reverse alphabetical order, which means diamonds is before clubs. Yep. So this thing gets to try and recover from Shaken. Let's see. Actually, I'll do it in chat for you guys because that's probably more interesting. I need to roll a four on this. If I roll a four, I recover. If I roll an eight, I get to take an action as well, too. Oh, fuck. Uh -oh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so it recovers, but then what it's going to do is having uh, you tried to burn it, uh, it's going to dive into the hole. So both of you guys get to make a free uh, fighting check against it. Okay. Um... Can I then just like try and draw my Derringer? No, 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 no. You get a free fighting check. That's it. Oh, yeah. free fighting. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you can it's like like attack of opportunity. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's the path or the. Um... Oh <laughs> fuck! Ooh, there it is. That's a fumble. Oh no! Yeah, presumably I was trying to stab it with the remains of the lantern. <laughs> yeah. So Bill, you did get a, a raise on it. So you hit. Go ahead and roll damage with your buoy. Ten, eleven is Ten, enough. 11. Uh, so that does shake it, actually. So it tries to get to get away, and you sort of stab it in the back, and it rakes along. And I think what happens mm -hmm. is uh, I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna roll just a random um, shooting check on uh, Angus from the spray. I think you tried to hit it, uh, Angus, and then the the back spray. This is your fumble. So let's see here. Oh fuck. <laughs> That's a 10, which means I got a raise on you. So it'll be 2d8 plus 1d6. <laughs> but I rolled hot garbage. So Angus, you, good. your suit is ruined, but this thing is now uh, staggered once again as Bill raked across it. You don't take any further damage from it. Uh, Bill, you are up next. You're acting immediately after this thing. What do you want to do? Step up and try to finish it. Now Please that do. Can, yep. I hope. Come on. Uh, That's a hit. Oh, no, uh, it's... No, it's not a hit. Jeez, yeah, it's not no, it's game, not. Because so. of the freaking... Yeah. Oh, Dang. Angus, it's down to you. You could probably try to shoot it. Oh, you might be muted, Mo. That's your last yeah, shot. Sorry, um... Me while I was eating. Um, I'm going to have to try and like uh, pull the Derringer out of my top pocket, where I've hidden it. Okay. And then just blaze away. So it's minus two for drawing. Minus two for, yep. <laughs> okay, that's a net minus three. So, okay. Pulls out his backup uh, Derringer. Okay, and here we go. That's minus two because the fatigue will be automatic. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yep. That's oh. a hit. <laughs> go ahead and roll damage. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Incredible. So as this thing, it's, it's raked that, that knife across the back. It's staggering to try and get away. Bill hits it again, and it sort of turns back at you like, ah, and you hear this little pop of this Derringer gun, poof, and its head explodes out the back and drops down quite dead. What each of you gets a Benny. For each of you gets a Benny for defeating this thing. So, with those things down, there's been an awful lot of gunfire in a town yeah, that's, no. you know, to say this is a one horse well, reloading. Town. All right. So, you start reloading. Bill, what are you doing? I'm going to start I'm reloading load, my... Probably. Yeah. I'm going to start reloading my... The Thunderer. Okay. Um, if I have time, I'll grab the shotgun, too. All righty. So, the, with the wriggling and writhing of these things, they have disappeared... Looks like there's there's something shining there oh. left behind. All right. Well, the uh, the tater is gonna squat down and take a look. <laughs> Actually, he wanted to like take his glove and <sighs> pick up one of these worm smells. Okay, these see, yeah. So uh, give us a mm, an agility check, please. Okay. <laughs> see if we catch one of these things before they writhe beneath, back beneath the earth. Oh, his agility's pretty damn good. What the hell? Yeah, he's nimble as fuck. Apparently, I know. So yeah, you easily That's grab weird. grab hold of one of them, and it's sort of wriggling. Angus, would you give us a, an occult roll, please? 
I think you're the only one with a cult. So if you know anything about this thing. This ain't no, look, this, this don't look like no mezcal worm. Yeah, you're not sure what uh, this thing, it, it's wriggling. So, I mean, obviously, Angus, this thing seems to be unnatural. Uh, something uh, h- uh, horrific out here, but you don't know anything further than that. Um, Bill, um, yeah, this thing is wriggling in your hand. It looks like um, a uh, like a cross between like a uh, a leech in the sort of slimy thickness of its body uh, and an earthworm with the little segmentation bits on it. Uh, and it also has on the very end, there's like a lamprey kind of mouth that's opening and closing. Yeah, gross. I, I squish it. Yep, no problem. That's nasty. Ugh. So then, guys, um, there is that uh, that shiny thing on the ground. A piece of metal, it looks like. Yeah. Well, I examined the worm, so I guess Angus could look at the yep. metal. Ugh, down. Ugh, up again. Uh, what? Anna literally says hi, guys. Jeez. Uh-huh. Um, what, um, what you can see is that it is a... Um, it appears to be a badge of some kind. And Angus, you got one of them sitting in your interior of your pocket right now. Hmm. So I turn it over. Do do the agent's badges have a number or a name on them? Uh, there's probably like a, a, a little hard to see, you know, thing that you need to, uh, you need to look at, but there's a little marker that would tell you what, what badge number it is. And, mm-hmm. uh, this, this is the badge number of your, uh, of uh, Sawyer Moore. Mm. My lord, I think uh, this may have been uh, Sawyer. I wonder if that one was your friend. Or sorry, your mark. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't see no more. Yeah. Mm. The question is, um, (laughs) speed loads are fairly quick, so I'd really like to go back to the... uh, the stables where I've, I've stashed my uh, <laughs> other stuff, including the Winchester. And I think we go down this hole and investigate. Yeah. You really can't fit through the hole. Uh, these oh. things. Oh, they like wriggle. Oh, right? I see. It's not like a, yeah. there's a hole in the ground and there's a tunnel leading away. No, like the hole it's they burst like out of is probably pretty big, but I mean, like the. Do they it, leave a trail, like a slime trail? There is a trail of like of of like oh. um, of like disturbed earth behind it, but they sort of wiggled their way through the way that like a worm would, which is that it, like it disturbs the earth and then it sort of goes back. Oh, can we tell which direction they were? Uh, came from the back of your house, uh, but they were underground. It was remember as it was coming in, you start to started to see oh, the, okay. the boards get more and more and more disturbed, bulging up as if something was uh, coming closer to the surface. Uh, so is the back of the house towards the mine, maybe? Uh, back of the house is towards the uh, uh, the mine, yeah, and towards like the the rest of the uh, of the ho- the town. Hmm. Mm. What do you I think? If there's a nest of them in the mine, I don't know. I, it could come from anywhere, right? I mean... So what do you guys want? Right. Has anyone turned up to uh, investigate the the shooting? How long do you wait? Well, I've reloaded both guns. Yep. And if mm-hmm. the, no one's turned up in a couple of minutes, I'm going back to the um, the hotel, which is presumably a couple hundred yards down the street. Okay. And I'm going to, like, tool up. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to put my badge on to you now, so, just in case. Nice. <laughs> the shiny badge comes out. What about you, Angus? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I'll put mine on, and I'll also make it obvious. Yep. Okay, so both yeah, of you well, have I'll your... also have my buoy on the other side of the belt as well. Okay. Uh, then, how do you guys plan on, on going from... Are you just, like, marching straight from here to the hotel, or are you taking any kind of precautions? <sighs> Can we try and go around the back and sort of get round out of sight, do we yeah. think? Yeah, let's do Without that. delaying too much. Or let's maybe, like, toss the place, too, like like we were defeated or something, or taken. I don't know. Mm. I'm going to get my buoy and knife out and just cut my wrist a bit let's cut my palm a bit and leave some blood okay, uh, just you know, to make this, this seems too tough for me <laughs> good lord all right now hold on for your uh fatigued you need an hour of yes. rest to recover from it wow 
Well, maybe, maybe we should go to the hotel and hole up for a little yeah. bit. I could do with a strong shot of whiskey. Okay. <laughs> and my guns. All right, so hold on here. <laughs> Lots <Nope>. of guns. <laughs> You're my okay. best agent. agent. Okay. You're thinking a split second? Angus? Is that what you're thinking of? The, the film split second? I was thinking more of the guns, lots of gun lines from the Matrix section. Oh. <laughs> guns, lots of guns. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 Brent, well, you played with Brent already. Uh, yeah, Brent, uh, he, when we were kids, loved split second. So, bigger fucking guns was what he would say in games all the time. All right, dramatic task. So this is gonna be you guys. Uh, there's another cool sub mechanic similar to the um, networking. Um, this, this, this. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna draw cards for this. And let me reshuffle yeah. the other one here. Okay, there we go. And is everything back in here? Yep, yeah. great. All right. Um, then, uh, so I don't screw up the combat deck because I want you guys to get the jokers if you can. Um, this is going to be a stealth check. If you guys are trying to sneak your way over there. Yep. So what, um, what we do is we're going to draw cards for each of you. And then if you get a club, that's when there is a complication that's come up. So Angus, no complication. And Bill, no complication. So guys, go right ahead and make a, um, stealth check, please. Okay. I think we'll just say... You need to collect four task tokens for this. So if you get four successes, and a raise counts as double successes, so we got one from each of you guys. So what we see in the fiction is, I guess, you guys sneak out, you go making your way over uh, through town. There seems to be no sign of anybody here. You can't see anyone. Uh, no one appears to be out looking for you. Uh, no one seems to be up. The lights are out in all of the buildings, and you're making your way. Even after all that shooting? Even after all that shooting. Mm. Uh. All right, so then, second round, the task here, hearts for Angus, Jack for Bill. Guys, go right ahead. Ooh. Oof. It's not a critical fail, though, so. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> As an example, that is a critical fail. That is a critical fail. <laughs> All right, so hold on here. Now, um... Can we re-roll at this point? Or we, uh... Well, you, fumbles you can never re-roll. Of course. No, no. It's yeah, fumbles. Yeah, yeah. It's straight yeah. fumble. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. However, Carl could re-roll, and if you got, to, if you did get a raise on it, that would you would succeed in the task and then have to deal with a fumble. So you'd at least get there. What do you guys think? Is it worth the yeah, penny? I'll, I'll do that. That's worth it. Thank okay. You. Go right ahead. Nope. Ugh. All righty. So, then... At least that's not a double fumble. Haha. <laughs> I think. Mm, hmm, hmm, hmm. No, I got a two on the second one. So. Yeah, yeah, you're you're okay. Uh, all right, so then I think with the uh, fumble, let's see. We're like halfway there. Yeah. Yeah, you're like you're making your way there, and I think something comes out. Maybe what you see is uh, there are three uh, townsfolk who are walking along, and uh, these fellers look a lot like this. So we got one. Two, and let's put another big club there. Three. So there's three townsfolk who are kind of walking their way, and they seem to be trying to. Uh, well, they're not trying to be quiet whatsoever. They're just like walking out, uh, keeping you know seemingly keeping an eye out for things. And Angus, what do you think happens that causes them to spot you? Because you got your fumble. You knock something over. Do you? I think I disturb a, disturb a raccoon that <laughs> hey, eats yeah. or something, and it goes <laughs> prang, and the raccoon goes. Bleh! Yeah, so this thing hisses at you. And a, yeah, bang, 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 and these will both look over at you. All right, fellers. So let's draw some cards here. Angus, Queen, Bill, a six, and Townsfolk a three. So fortunately, even though you got startled, you got your heart pumping, Angus, you're up first. What are you doing? They are armed, as you can see in there. Okay, I'm going to point the pistol at the guy with the Winchester. Yep. Um, and I'm going to try and intimidate him. Look, we're lawmen. 
we're doing our business. I suggest you go away, shut the doors, or there will be trouble. Okay, so hold on. This is a, a great opportunity to talk about tests. Uh, so one of the things you can do is it's sort of a, like um, staring down the uh, opponent, trying to, to spook him. Um, let me double check, make sure I got this right here. But I think what it is, is if on a success, you can either impose a penalty to their rolls or give a penalty, a bonus to rolls against them. And if you get a raise, they become shaken. Mm -hmm. Hold on. <clears throat> Let's see here. Intimidate. I'm just going to check the skill quickly and see if there is some sub application of it that I did not know. Out of combat, in, uh, let's see here, what is this? Uh, okay. Yeah, it's a test in combat. Although, I guess you're not in combat yet. I'll let you, I'll let you try and intimidate him. Okay. Guns haven't gone flying just yet, so, Angus, why don't you give us an intimidate check? Actually... Let me just check whether... No. Agent doesn't do anything. No, if they were law... Oh, or does the badge give anything? Um, Unfortunately. Uh, I'll give you plus one, because you got it. Yeah, yeah. And then there... Oh, it's taking its own sweet spirit time again. Spirit is... Okay, let's see here. And I'll roll for all of them. All right. All right, so that's a ten. All right. Uh, every single one of them... Uh, is shaken. Uh, you didn't get... They, they actually uh, almost uh, tied you. So there's not enough to drive them off. But what do we see? Like, what do we see in the fiction? You step forward and what do you say? You said, go back to your homes? Yeah, go back to your homes, shut the doors. Uh, this is Lawman's business. Okay. I literally do just point at his... The gunman's head. So, Bill, the only one they can see is, uh, is him right now. And they all seem to be... Uh, they're a lot more lily-livered than... What uh, you know, you faced before. What do you want to do, Bill? If I can get behind uh, or get to the side of them, uh, you want to, I don't want to corner them in, but get to the side of them that I also can go. Look, fellows, just go home. Look, fellas, just go home. This ain't none of your business. Uh, are you using intimidate or uh, persuasion? I have persuasion. Okay. Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't, well, maybe it is. Yeah, maybe I, I have the shotgun, so yeah. I will say, mm. uh, I'll do Intimidate. Okay. Look, so, fellas, just go home. So you get Take the bonus your business. Uh, from the, um, what do you call it, uh, from the uh, badge as well, too. Okay. So And I'll roll for them. One more time. Okay. Holy shit. Uh, so you step out of the shadows to the side, too, and what you see, that guy with the gun there... Um, mm -hmm. You can see a puddle form oh, at man. his feet. <laughs> and they both, you know, they all throw their weapons to the ground and go racing off. Uh, <laughs> you don't have to worry about them no more. All right, guys. Well, I'll, I'll pick up the firearm, I think. Yeah. Both well, you, I guess it, that's great role playing. You can both get a Benny for that. Yeah. I said, well, I guess not everyone in this town is weird. Okay. No, I think some of them are under duress rather than controlled in some way. That, that's what it seemed like the hotel, man. <clears throat> yeah. All right. So if you guys make your way, we'll cut to you guys walking into the hotel then. Uh, you don't need to worry about mm -hmm. stealth anymore. The one thing you would have run into, you've driven off. Uh, yeah, so, ba uh, shiny badges. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the hotel door is, uh, is locked, though. Oh. Huh. Uh, hang on. I know an easy way in. Okay. How are you at climbing? And I'll try and climb up the route the sure. uh, young lad showed us, Peter. Yeah. Just give us an athletics check. I, I go, do I look like I'm good at climbing? <laughs> 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 well, I'm not terribly good at athletics, but... Um... I actually, I don't know. I do have a D6 in athletics. <laughs> Angus may have t <laughs> spoken too like, soon. Oh. I think it's more, it's less that you're not capable and more that this place is just, it's, it's, you know, it's not built terribly well. Do you want to spend a Benny to re-roll that? No, I'll see how uh, Bill does. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Bill hikes up his trousers underneath his gut. 
<laughs> and easily I, scrambles. I think, I think obese is a obese is a is a broken hindrance. I mean, it only gives you a minus one to pace. It gives you plus one to size. It also reduces your your run dice to a d4, though. So yeah, how, I guess. Yeah, and your guess, size yeah. is uh, slightly larger, which means that it can't come into play. Yeah, I don't know. It's just yeah. funny that he's got all these. He's pretty good at <laughs> yeah. stealth and athletic. <laughs> he's you're. I mean, you're Jack Black from the uh, like late '90s, early 2000s. <laughs> a little heavy, yeah. but you know, real yeah, nimble. Yeah, very nimble. Yep. Yeah. Bill scrambles up to the second uh, uh, level, and I, I think with that raise, I'll let you sort of, uh, you know, there's going to be something up there that you'll be able to lower down to help Angus up. Okay. Okay, so Angus, you're oh, back up as well, too. Um, I'm assuming you uh, you didn't lock the door to your room, then, from the outside? Well, because you're, um, if you're up on the second level here, you're going to try and get into your... Yeah, Mo, you're, you're muted again, bud. Maybe, uh, you know, Mo, we're only playing for another, like, 40 minutes. Maybe hold off eating until <laughs> we're done. Okay, um, okay so we, the veranda door? No, we wouldn't have undone that. Okay, so then it's you had a locked door on the second floor, then. You've traded a locked door on the first floor for a locked door on the second floor. Or are you saying... Oh, you I think you mean, did we lock the door on the sort of balcony? Yes. No, we okay. locked the other door. Okay, so then the door is open, um, and uh, you're able to get into your room. Uh, everything seems to be where you left it. Although I think you hid your gun under the bed, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. So, what do you guys wish to do next? Uh, so we need to rest here for a bit, or do we... Rest here for a bit. You said you wanted to rest and recover, right? You said... you Actually, actually, agency, you said you had some whiskey to share, if I recall correctly. Well, I was going to buy some from the bar, but... um. Can we uh, go downstairs and see if there's anyone there? Uh, well, there was no lights on downstairs, so... And there's not really a bar. Uh, remember, this is a tiny town, so there's no saloon here. There was a place where you could get some food, but that was really it. Okay. Uh, now, hold on here. Well, we either wait here for an hour, or we... we well, you go can back hear people and, um, shouting outside. Can I have a look out the door without being too noticed? Um, yeah, I think you don't need to make a roll for that. And yeah, you can see there's a, a group of, um, it looks like there are, well, two groups of uh, people who are meeting up. Seems like the uh, the town is starting to be deployed trying to look for you. Oh. Interesting. What are you guys thinking? I try and so what are, the group, what are the two groups look like? Uh, it's a mix of uh, both of those newcomers and of the, um, what do you call it? And of the... Uh, um, the mining folk from before, and you think you think you can hear. Uh, why don't you each give me a notice check? Let's see if you can identify. There's a voice that seems to be giving commands here. Easy, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, Angus, I think you're just still trying to recover from the, you know, the uh, thing that you're. You keep thinking of worms right now to account for your newfound phobia. <sighs> um. But what you can see, Bill, you can hear, that's Arthur. That's his son. Mm. The preacher's son. He's given instructions to everybody. Interesting. So, do you guys try and hide out here? Or do you try and uh, to get your, your hour? What I'll do, guys, is I'll draw a card. If it comes up a club, that's a complication. That means something happens while you guys okay. are, are hiding out. I think it's worth risking. I mean, that that fatigue is, or that, you know, you're being out of sorts. Is it yeah. detrimental to an operation agency? Okay. Get yourself together. Uh, and there can yeah. be whiskey in here, too, if you want. I'm, I'm fine with there being a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, get okay. the whiskey bottle out and share it. So let's see if anything happened here, guys. Hour passes. You are no longer fatigued, Angus. Good. So hey. far, so far, so good. I, I thought I, I think we might follow those folks, but I, I don't know. It's kind of risky. You've been tripping around so, all over the place. Yeah, I mean, so are they the outside in the main street? Yeah. Uh, sort of. Uh, you can hear them shouting. Seems to be uh, over the hour. They seem to be looking everywhere through town. Mm. We gotta find them. Find them. 
More offering for the burrowers beneath. Oh, lovely. I see you have some dynamite there. Uh, assuming it's sticking. <laughs> huh? Yeah, I, I got. I keep this for you know. When Sentimental things go, reasons. I know. When things go go really south of the border. You know. You know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> Ain't we in Veracruz now? <laughs> well, sounds like the burrowers um, might not could enjoy a a, a, fo um, a feed of Mister Noble's finest. Well, right, so do we try and sneak out the back and get to the mine, I think? Because that's where we mine? thought they were coming from, wasn't it? Well, no, you thought it was coming from the rest of town. Yeah, it is unclear. I don't know. Uh, we, could well, try to, we could try to ambush this Rothschild, this uh, Arthur Rothschild person. You mean get him alone when he's um, well, with a small group rather than an entire posse? So narratively, yeah. guys, so you can kind of judge what, you know, how this might play out in the game mechanics. And a character like that, who's an important player in the game, probably is a wild card, which means that they are unlikely to die with one wound. Right. So, yeah, we wouldn't, we wouldn't want to get him with the group because then it'd be bad. <laughs> what also means That's that what I mean. you don't need to worry about, like, plugging a hole in his head, uh, you know, with a lucky shot. And then be like, fuck, now we can't uh, question him. Oh right, right. Mm -hmm. Well, and I think like, the other thing would be to. I think the other thing would be to investigate the church, because if we're hearing they're saying burrowers, yeah, maybe the church's basement, something like uh, that. And they're worship, and it's worship, right? So, mm, yeah, I wish you could. Uh, um, I wish you could like. Uh, I, I feel like honestly, I, I guess I feel like it'd be nice if we had more intel, uh, you know, out of character, and if we could find the hotel man and intimidate the crap out of them to give us information uh we hotel you use in the old west go. they likely do not have separate houses they are likely here now one yeah he, he lives here in the i'm sure in the hotel interesting right? point too um angus uh you can uh, also give us an occult role see if you if that burrowers beneath gives you any further information mm. oh. that is occult. new a new clue oh am i fatigued when we're we doing this i assume or are we nope Okay, let's set that back to zero. Nope. <laughs> okay, you are. Uh, can I spend a Hold penny? On. Uh, Mo, oh, no. just fatigue is still there. Yeah, to turn off your fatigue. I mean, it oh, won't make a difference God. on your roll, uh, but you just, the character sheet, uh, take it so you're not fatigued any longer. Yeah. That just doesn't ring a bell. I don't know if it's worth. That's your call if it's worth the penny. Because it wasn't a fumble. It was a two and a one. Yeah, it's not a fumble, so. No, um, let's keep the pennies for the climax, as it were. Okay. Then what are you thinking? You, the the name thing. means nothing to you. At least nothing beyond what whatever implications you as the player uh, want to draw from it. The church is as good as any, but I'd like to question the, the hotel man, because he seemed, he seemed yeah, under okay. duress, you know? Do okay. you know which room is? Do you know where his room is? Agency? Yeah, his uh, office seems to be downstairs, and if uh, your experience in the Weird West is uh, tells you anything, it's likely also where his bed is, as is his uh, son. Okay, let's go and go downstairs and see if we can uh, wake him up. Okay, and then and be prepared to like you know, hot tail it. All right. So, um, are you trying to be um, sneaky to approach the door? Or are you letting it? You know, just going to walk down the stairs. Uh, normally, to, so someone can hear, or what? I think we'll try I to think... sneak until yeah. Okay. We have no choice, you know. Why don't you each give us a uh, what do you call it? Uh, stealth roll, please. Yep. Okay. Excellent. So you both of you, you know, like shadows, sneak down the stairs, make your way up to the hotel manager's door. Mm -hmm. What do you do? There is a lock on this as well, or at least there's a place for a key. So what are you thinking? How do you break down door, or do you, do you well, have let's special see if you skills? Lock first. Uh, I do. Lock. Yeah, you need thievery is what you'd need. I mean, right. you can try and un, you know, you maybe like grab a 
uh, a pen and try and like, you know, relock it, but you roll and you're unskilled. That's not to say that you, you know, don't try it, uh, but... What are you thinking, guys? I think just put our shoulders to it. Yep. I'm pretty okay. strong. All right. So whoever wants to do that, give us an uh, uh, athletics check, please. Okay. Oh, you know what you can do? Uh, Actually, if you're both doing it, we can do the um, support okay. rules. So somebody, uh, okay. who's going to help? Who's got the better I'll, athletics? I'll support because I've got the worst athletics, I think. I got okay. a D6 athletics. All right. So then, uh, oh, Angus, give us an athletics check. Let's see. No. Okay, nothing. Nope. Holy Ooh. shit. Oh. Okay, but uh, Angus gets it uh, with a... Uh, oh, shit. So Angus gets yeah. a raise, which will give you a plus two. We always roll the support before we roll the main roll. But yep. what this will do is okay. it will give you a plus two, which means that you, that bumps you up to a success because of Angus's... Uh, yeah. Right, so the two of you throw your, your weight in and <laughs> the door bursts open. And what you see... Ah, there is actually. I'm gonna make a. I'm to make a fright check for him. Mm, here we go, D six. All right. So you burst the door open, and I'll roll. Because you were the primary bill, I'm gonna make the roll against you. I'm just gonna roll a D six here. Fortunately, the shot that is fired by the hotelier. He's on this bed. He's got his uh, paw kind of clustered around him, and he had a gun pointing at the door. As you guys burst through, it fires, and uh, he misses you wild. What do you guys okay. do next? Go, hey, hotel man. We're, we're not. We're not the bad guy. We just want to talk. Okay. We know your town's got some weird, weird stuff going on. Um, you can give us a persuasion uh, roll, and I'm going to give you a plus two, one from each of your badges. Amazing. Um, he his eyes sort of go wild. And his hand goes limp. The gun drops from his uh, thing, and he says, "Oh, thank God, thank God." Um, with that raise, you can whatever you want information you want to try and get out of this guy, you can do it. But 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 what I'm going to do is um, after each question you ask, I'm going to draw a card because of the gun going off here. It probably yeah. has the attention. Cool. So first round, each of you gets to ask a question. What question do you want to ask? Well, Bill says, Bill says, where, where are these burrows? It's, it's part of the reverend. They, uh, they answer to him. I don't know what they, oh, he doesn't have a southerner. He's a easterner. Uh, I, I don't know. He came out here. He came here from California and they, they seem to follow him or answer him. He came in here and then soon the mine closed and Everyone seemed to go along with him. And he kept praying, but I knew that there was more devil in that preacher than anything else. Angus? Do you know where he keeps the burrowers? Are they in the church or are they nesting in the mines? They have, All I know is the town. They all go down into those mines. They all go down there like it's some kind of bloody church service or damn church service. Let's see, guys. You can hear them shouting outside, but they're not coming to you yet. Next question. I, th I think we got our answer, agency. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, if we knock you out, you'll probably be better off being alive. Wait. What? And you say we beat you up. Oh, well, maybe we just tie them up rather than hurt, hurt them. Oh, I don't think we've got time. I, I point to the noise outside. That was a good enough persuasion. He'll go along with whatever you think is best. Okay. All right. Just hey, uh, if they question you, a hotel man, say we just we just hightail it out of town. We're too scared. Okay, I'll try. Though we st uh, and I we kind of tossed the office a little bit. Like yeah. Stole stuff. And, uh, okay. Uh, he does say I ain't much of a poker player though. So I punch but him. Now's a good time I to punch him. It. Yeah, I punch him just to make it look <laughs> real. He's a yeah, one punch and he's out. And Paul yells out, "Pa!" Are you and a I good and I tell I'm the kid, sure the kid doesn't know our story. conversation. The kid doesn't know our conversation. Say, kid, we're leaving here, but we're coming back. 
So one thing that you may not have known is that uh, Paul is extraordinarily good at listening in. So he heard that, but he seems to be on board. The kid's okay. a little more worldly than what uh, you would expect. Okay. So he looks up at you, uh, Angus, and he says, I know the story. I'll make sure it sells. Good lad. All righty. Um, and, uh, okay, cool. And what are you guys going to do Let's next? Let's go. Try to sneak our Is way there a back door? The uh, there's a back I'll door. I'll ask Paul about you. Yep. Yep. Well, yep. I we go out the back door um, and try yep. and sneak to the mines. Yeah. And if maybe I'd like to try and pull out the, grab the Winchester from my saddle or Santiago's saddle. Yeah. Assuming it's still there. Okay. So then what we'll do next then, guys, is we'll do one more to get yourself to the mine. We're going to do another, um, yeah. uh, what do you call it? Um, extended task. Yeah. It's not what it's called in it. It's called extended task is in, uh, dramatic task. Dramatic task. Yeah. Alrighty. So then first cards, Angus. And Bill. Hot diggity damn. Now, I think there's something else here. Hold on. Perform the task. Yes, you get it. So a token for each success and for each raise. Failure means no progress. Critical failure reduces progress by one. So, sounds like you guys are using, trying to be sneaky for this first leg of it. Why don't you guys each give us... And we'll make this one... What do you think? Um, I think only four again. Yeah, that sounds fine. Plenty okay. of opportunity for failure. So, who wants? To, uh, Bill, you're up first. Uh, I, to one, we made some progress. Made some progress. You start sneaking your way along. Uh, Bill, you can. You're kind of go along the back. Angus uh, gets in, grabs the the uh, rifle, and you can hear someone walking up towards the uh, the stables. And Bill, you're like, "Come on, come on!" Uh, so, unfortunately, Bill Angus doesn't hold you back in the sense of putting you further back. But you got one success so far. Next round, Bill, it's up first. And Angus. Nice. Bill, you can give us a... What do you guys want to do? So one of the things that's fun with these things is if you want to... Like, if it makes sense in the fiction for you to try something different, you can use different skills. But they sort of need to make... Uh, they do need to make sense in the context. This may very well be... A, the, either a notice or a survival to kind of... Because we can hear them. You know, we can hear the town active. Either yeah, yeah. a notice or survival to avoid them. Yep, I'll take it. Yeah, you can make notice check. How about you, um, um, Angus? Okay. Yeah, I think I'll try notice as well because I'm probably a bit. I'm gonna let something. only only one of you can do that this round. Okay. Well, I'll do stealth then if you do notice. Yep. Okay. So go ahead. Oh. Notice right. one success. You got two successes so far. And then Angus. Ooh. Agency, you're you're holding us back, agency. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Seems then like got me some retraining. Angus gets the first one now. Two. Okay. And then Bill. Ace. <laughs> no clubs, guys. Well done. I know. Bill, you're up first. What do you want to what do you think? This is uh I don't know. Notice seems the best if that still works. Or we have to I think you've already used notice once as the exception. I won't let you do it back to back. Um oh, so maybe sur survival to see if there's a, a way that skirts the town a little bit to get to the mines oh you know what uh why don't you make a survival try and spot that raccoon again building on what uh, uh angus introduced mm -hmm. so the raccoon yeah okay it's a worm coon okay. okay so you do you spot that raccoon you scoop up oh yeah because they, they these these critters know how to get in and out well, what I'm thinking is more that you grab a stone and you toss it over in the direction of that thing. It makes a bunch of noise, makes a bunch of, you know, rattles, knocks things over, and that yeah, draws yeah. the attention of them. So that's okay. actually all you needed. You guys make Three? your way. Yeah. Okay. So oh, you guys nice. have made your way to the mines successfully. All right. So, uh, and I'll give you each a Benny for having successfully uh, made your way there. All right. I think packages here. Nope, walking dogs. All right. The Dan, same guy. Different. Uh, <laughs> she's just very excited. <laughs> so. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's how dogs talk. You know? Yeah, yeah. Um, and I don't mind. Like, there's worse things than if, I mean, we're in a fucking quarantine, so not, like, I'm never going anywhere. But, you know, there's worse things than people thinking that your dog's going to be scary. Yeah. Um, okay. So then, guys, you guys find your way up. Uh, to where the mines are and uh, 
there seems to be like the old west equivalent of like tiki torches that are burning lay down into wow. the mine and i think there is let's see here i'm just gonna say there's a complication there's people nope there's no one there wow at least not at the entrance well maybe, maybe they're all chasing that raccoon <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys thinking? Well, let's go deeper in. I'm going to take one of the torches. Assuming I can pull it out of its sconce or whatever. Yep. <clears throat> now, All right. do either of you have... Oh, you got survival, right? Yeah, I have survival. Yeah, so if you want to try and find a way uh, down, because, I mean, like, the mine is going to be... A, yeah, it's, it's in, like in a bowl or something. Yeah, it'll be a bit of a labyrinth. Uh, so you want to make sure you're following where the... <sighs> oh, no. You want to bend that? Yeah, sure. I just got a new a new one. So. Okay. Uh, don't want to. <laughs> we solved the mystery and then we just fall to our death and break our neck. <laughs> it's more getting lost in the mine. Yeah, getting lost. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All righty. Yep. All right. So you, um, you guys, you look down and you get to like this happens at the first fork in the uh, in kind of the tunnels and Bill, you look, you know, we see you crouch down. This way. And you guys both start heading off in that direction. A torch. Yeah, is it like? Is it? Is it because of like the traffic? Is that what we're? That's what I'm thinking. Is just you're, you're tracking to see what's what's got the most uh, recent footprints in it. Yep. Yep. Because uh, you're with your you got a D8 in uh, oh and a D6 in survival, so you're uh, yep. not 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 uh, terrible, but not uh, you know an expert yep. by any means. All right, so you guys, it takes a little while to um, follow uh, deep down, deep down into this thing, and what you come across is um, a point where you can see that there are, um, you can hear voices. It sounds like someone, it sounds like someone leading a, a revival, like a tent revival, mm. you know? Uh, you guys do not need to roll to recognize what uh, voice it is down there. There's the old reverend. Mm-hmm. If, right. if you guys carry down further, yep. what you come across. Now, you guys, I think, would be aware that uh, uh, the torches would be, if you're coming into an area of darkness, would definitely um, be a, uh, uh, a sort of a dead giveaway. But right. you can see lights from up ahead. So I'll put and, that aside or something or douse it. What do you think? What I'm saying is that if they're in a well-lit area, you having torches, unless they're looking at the hole, are unlikely to draw their attention. Mm -hmm. Whereas if it was perfectly dark in there and you're walking up with, with uh, a lit torch, right. it would herald your arrival. Right. What do you well, think, guys? We could keep, keep the torch as lit as possible until we don't need to need until we don't need it anymore. Or yeah. just douse it just to be safe. What are you thinking? Angus I has think the torch. Keep them lit, because um, we might need to use your dynamite. I think. Okay. So, yeah. if you walk up, would you give me? Um, I want one stealth check from the from the team, so someone can aid on this. But I'm going to give you a minus two on the on this check. So, uh, who wants to support? My stealth. I'm not very really good at stealth. So, what's yours? I'm a D4 also. So oh, doesn't matter. Mine. So. I'll support then. And okay, so Angus, give us a stealth roll first. All right. Let's see how I hear. Oh, sorry, the other way. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty then, uh, Bill. Minus two. Come on. Oh, that was uh, he said. Angus, go first. I, I preempted the roll. Oh, okay. That's okay. Uh, let's see how Angus. So Angus, make your roll. Yep. Uh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Roll 20 hates me. Oh, I love this game. <laughs> so, I think what happens is you're going along, and um, the... Uh, let's see here, what would be the... Maybe I kick a rock and it sort of tumbles into... I think you stumble, yeah. Like, you're, you're so trying to, you know, keep an eye on, on being quiet. You don't realize that there's a little bit of a protruding thing. You stumble a bit, and then it's as you guys walk out into the open area. And what you see down there... Uh, this is um, about where you guys are coming out is a part of the mine. This whole chamber itself seems to be much bigger uh, than what the others are. The, the, uh, it's a circular um, diameter of about 
uh, about like 50 yards. So it's a really fairly big open chamber. The ceiling goes up about three stories and you guys are about at the second story and it kind of winds down and there's like strange um, sort of, it almost looks like as if there was a crude attempt using crude materials to craft a kind of like, um, uh, like a sweeping vaulted ceiling in a chamber. And at the ground level, what you can see down these crude stairs is the reverend and about 10 parishioners. And the parishioners are all wearing tattered uh, robes. And that appears to be it. And they're all sort of like, um, you know, swaying back and forth. Their hands giving you the appearance of like wriggling worms because it's not all in the same order. They're all moving, you know, at different tempos and whatnot or different sort of uh, ways. And the Reverend is up on top and he is dressed in uh, that same finery that you saw, but on his, over his shoulders, he has a big heavy robe uh, with a big, um, uh, around his neck is a pair of wriggling worms. <laughs> and he has some kind of bizarre, uh, like rock um, kind of crown on it. And in the center of this whole thing, is a bit of exposed earth and it's about uh 20 yards across so they're all and unfortunately because of you stumbling a rock falls down uh, and then <laughs> hits the down two stories hits the stone floor and all of them turn <gasps> and look up at you and angus you sort of well i guess what do you guys do So because you don't have an immediate action, let's draw some cards and see who acts first. So let's do this. Let's do this here. Uh, preacher, here we go. There's the Preacher. And I'm going to draw just one card for him and, his, and the parishioners. Angus, a four. Bill, a six. Preacher Boyan. Anyone want to spend bennies to draw new cards? I will, I think. Okay. Ace! Pretty good. Bill? I'm good. We'll see. We'll see good. what happens. I'm going to spend a Benny and see if I can get a better one. Okay, so Jack is up first. Angus, you're up first. What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to call out, this is the law. Stand down and prepare to be arrested. And... Um, I will uh, point the Gatling gun directly down at them. Okay. The Gatling pistol, sorry. Okay. Uh, go ahead and give us a roll. Um, of I'm going to say Psst, dynamite <laughs> outside of my mouth. <laughs> uh, so give us, well, that's a multi-action, because you can't talk oh, two it's different okay. things, right? So, um, no, no, I'm just going to. Yeah, sure. Give us some, an there. intimidate, but I, you're going to get a minus six to this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's going to be pretty, I mean, you, you never know. You might get a success, but let's see. So that's a, no, that's a, I didn't put the minus six in, so that's zero, zero. Okay, so you say, uh, and then um, what the reverend says, he looks, oops, sorry, I mean to erase you there. What he looks up and just cr cr cries out, Infidels! And there's a rolling in the sand and then what bursts out in response to that <laughs> and all those writhing tentacles now let's make a quick spirit check here and his action has been taken so I need a fear check from both of you guys let's, let me check the uh, it is uh the mine, it may not surprise you to learn, is a more fearful place than the town. So it's a minus two from the mine. And then for the Mojave Rattler, a minus two. Minus four in total to your fear checks, guys. Yes. <laughs> oh, shit. Angus. Bill I, get to, I get a re we get re rolls. You but... guys both get free re rolls, yep. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I put, I basically have a net of minus two because I have a plus two. Oh. 
It's obviously not set up properly. I will do it from the main one. No, it, it, it worked for me, uh, Mo. I don't know. Oh, I got a whole load of um, JavaScript. Yeah, yeah. Saying, all right, okay, well. Try, try again. Go second ahead. one. Is uh, that, I didn't put the uh, modifier in. Okay. Is that with the minus six? Oh, shit. Or minus, or minus four, not minus six. So actually, it should be minus four. Uh, that's still only a three for Angus. All right, yeah. so both. Bill, I, yeah, I failed both times. Now you can you can choose to spend a Benny if you like. Yeah, I'd like to try to, to spend a Benny to re-roll. Yep, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, there we go. That's only yeah, minus four, right. not minus six. Go. Yeah, with a fear, with a brave, right? It's only a minus, a minus two. Yeah. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah, it's only minus two for you. So, yeah, you got a good chance of Jeez. hell. I know, but hellfire and damnation. Nope. All right. So, both of you, uh, would you each give me a one d twenty plus uh, two roll, please? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Eighteen for me. 14, 18. Oh, good God. <laughs> Shaking again. Huh? Your minor phobia becomes a major phobia, Angus. Uh, and then for <laughs> uh, you, Bill, mm -hmm. um, that's a 14. You're frightened. You gain the hesitant hindrance for the rest of the encounter. So all that means is that okay. you draw two cards and you take the worst of the two. Okay. Okay. It only lasts for the encounter, so you don't need to worry about adding it to your character sheet. Uh, you're also both shaken and both fatigued. Oh. And then, uh, Bill, you have the last action before we call it a session. What do you do? I guess recover from being shaken. Oh, yeah, I gotta try to recover being shaken. Yeah, it gives Is there a minus to that? Uh, no? There, if you once you get your fatigue, uh, if you got fatigue at one, then that that will be enough. That's the only penalty you get. Okay, so I just put increased fatigue by one there. That's right. Yep, yeah. yeah, it should account for that in your spirit roll. Jeez, no. All right, so all the last right? thing we hear as you guys are looking down and this massive worm is roiling, the crowd is screaming and whatnot, Bill mm -hmm. looks at Angus and just says, I hate this town. <laughs> and that's where we will leave things, guys. So uh, first off, uh, you guys will each get an advancement. So uh, okay. be sure to take a look at your uh, uh, information too. Um, Carl, did you get the new Deadlands yet or not? I do. You do okay, great. So then you got the um, you can take a look at the deadlands uh, 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 options as well too. So for those lists, and we have uh, uh, Angus or uh, Mo now has a copy of Deadlands thanks to the very generous uh, donors on our Patreon. So thank you for that, folks. Um, thanks very much. Uh, and uh, so that's where we'll bring this uh, uh, session to an end. We'll see if there's other folks who have arrived in town next time. Uh, for those mm -hmm. listening at home, as is always the case, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns regarding this game this campaign, or uh, this session, please do not hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section of the video, and I will endeavor to reply in a timely fashion. Uh, in addition, you can find um, uh, links to the Dungeon Musings Discord uh, server in the description of this video. That will... Uh, we don't have a channel dedicated to Ooh. Savage Worlds, but we certainly... Um, well, that's cool. And here's the nice thing. is uh, Start of next session, everyone gets three bennies to start. Okay. So... Um, as is always the case, yes, I know, Anna, um, you can reach us on the Discord server. Uh, we don't have a channel dedicated to Savage Worlds yet, but uh, if we keep playing this much, we probably will soon. We do have channels mm -hmm. dedicated to every other game we run on the channel, as well as a bunch of other uh, great stuff like finding a group, like uh, uh, charity initiatives we have. And speaking of charity initiatives, we also you can find a link in the description of this video to the Heroes Save Villages campaign. It's the charity fundraising campaign we run on the channel, which benefits SOS Children's Villages International, a really amazing organization that uh, benefits over 80,000 orphaned and abandoned children from around the world in over 130 countries. And the um, to date, we uh, the very generous donors of uh, the uh, Dungeon Musings uh, YouTube channel and the players. Uh, have donated over 2,700 Canadian this year alone. So a huge thank you to everybody for their enormous generosity. For everyone who donates between now and August 1st, uh, you will get one, every $25 gives you one chance to win the grand prize or one of the other prizes in our uh, next charity raffle. 
The grand prize is a copy of Beetle and Grimm's uh, amazing uh, Legacy of... No, what is it? The Legendary Edition of the Curse of Strahd. Uh, so it's a very... Uh, it, honestly, it's my favorite of the box sets in terms of the appearance and the contents. It's just a gorgeous thing. Uh, and they very generously donated a copy for us to raffle off. If you don't win that, there's still going to be lots of other cool prizes as well. Um, oh, Carl, did you have a question? No, okay. Um, in addition, uh, there is uh, you get a chance to vote on what games we play on the on uh, our charity sessions. And the next one's going to be in two weeks' time. We'll be playing Simba Room, uh, and um, the next one to vote on. Well, actually, next week it'll be not next week, the week afterwards. You can help if you have donated to date. You can help supply our heroes who are playing in that session with what they're going to be needing to survive the horrors that I have waiting for them. And uh, you also will get a chance to vote in our next uh, charity game. Char next charity game will be in end of June, and that one will be a sci-fi game. There'll be four games you can vote between, so I'll have to see what uh, comes up then. Um, you can also reach me on Twitter at Dungeon Musings, and... All right, Anna, all right, honey. It's like she knows that it's 2 o'clock. All right, I know. Um, you can also find me uh, by email. My email address is dungeonmusings at gmail.com. And uh, you can also... Um, that's it. That's all the ways you can reach me. <laughs> and the last thing I'll say is an enormous thank you to our posse from today. So Mo and Carl, thank you so much for joining us today, guys. I had a blast uh, with this. Thanks uh, for joining me in the Weird West. It was fun, partner. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Wonderful. All right. So then for those listening at home, thank you once again for joining us. Uh, we hope that uh, if you are joining us during the current crisis, this finds you healthy, safe, and weathering the current crisis as well as can be expected. We hope that we gave you a few hours in the Weird West. To take your mind off the troubles of our world and think about the trouble that uh, the troubles that these hombres keep getting themselves into. And until we see you again, stay safe, stay healthy, and happy gaming. <laughs>